know there's not the interstate, so there's towers right next to it. But it's just not, it's just not great. Merge 
AVC Sports presents High School Football. Tonight's game is brought to you by Patriots Buckeye Mutual Insurance, Don't Ford, WB Green Insurance, West 40 Auto Sales, Valentine Insurance, Boyd Precision Painting, State Farm Sue Snowed, McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home, Farmers and Merchant Bank, Chandler Funeral Home, Patty's Place, Laborers Local 530, People's Bank, Troy Blair Dunning Motor Sales, Guernsey Muskingum Electric Cooperative, Myra Shire for Municipal Court Judge, and Forshi Airpix LLC. Football. Are you ready for some pigskin action? Uh, we are live at the fairgrounds, WILE FM 97.7, where tonight the Caldwell Redskins will take on the Buckeye Trail Warriors. I'm Bill Kastler. Joining me, my color man, Dr. Richard Hall. And uh, I'll tell you something right now, Rich. Last year, these two teams hooked up on opening night, and we had a whale of a ball game really close uh caldwell ended up coming away with a 17 to 6 win in week one they were heavily favored trail gave them all they wanted a late touchdown kind of opened it up a little bit for the redskins similar situation this year but these teams play each other tough all the time yeah they do you know they're backyard rivals bill and they know each other pretty well and uh you know caldwell really brings back a really experienced group buckeye trail gained a lot of viable experience last year 
got a year older, got a year better. Uh, so I think we're going to have a really good football game tonight. Well, uh, Warriors coming off a three and seven year. Uh, they of course play in the uh, the always very very tough IVC. Uh, Redskins now playing a uh, an independent schedule. They made the playoffs. They ended up at eleven and two before the River Pilots finally knocked them out. I think in week number three of the high school football playoffs. So they have a lot of players coming back, but you know something, Rich? They've got some holes to fill as well. They really do, but boy, they're going to rely it tonight on their senior who's been a three-year starter for them, and Cale Bender, a 5'10", uh, senior at 175 pounds. He is a great athlete, first, time, first team All-Ohio last year, very fast, has a great arm. Just a playmaker, Bill. When he has the ball in his hands, anything good can ha anything can happen, and most of it's good. Yeah, he makes very, very. I was here the first night they kind of threw him into the starting lineup. Uh, Braxton Dudley couldn't play. It was two years ago, I believe, maybe three, and they threw Kale into the and he did. He made great decisions that night, and he's just continued to build on that. So he's a definite advantage for the Caldwell Redskins. Let's talk a little bit about the Redskins losses though. They lost some, a, a very small senior class, but a very good senior class. Leading the way, of course, Marshall Sayer, their running back, all state running back. He's a good one. He sure is. You know, he had a career of 3,600 yards, so he's a great player. Hey, Caldwell Band is on the field. They are playing the alma mater right now. And uh, with that, we're gonna break off here, take a quick break as, uh, we uh, prepare for the opening kickoff of this game between Colwell and Buckeye Trail. We'll be back with more right after this. My ride smells just right, just right, just right, just right. Y'all gotta try just that for right, Bree's car. Just right, just right, just right, just right. Yeah. La 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 la. Yeah. With up to 40 days of consistent sin, all over Bree's car clips right on your vent. Yeah. You know my car is my happy place. Keep that smile on my face. When it smells just right, just right, just right And yeah. breathe happy for breeze, la 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 What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to know? Too hard Takes too long Not with Babbel Babbel's lessons take just 15 minutes a day 15 minutes isn't long Nope, and they're fun So you don't realize you're learning a language, but you are in three weeks, you're able to start having conversations. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's, it's perfect. perfect. Now try Babbel free. Just go to Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. I was sitting in my car, and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood, and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. And on the radio, I heard of West 40 by Pay here. Where for a little money down and a little each week, I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door and I put the money down. Now I got a nice car that I can drive around. West 40 by Pay here will help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge, don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of a guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. Chandler Funeral Home and Cremation Service not only offers the most modern and spacious funeral home in the area, it also offers the largest outdoor monument selection display. If you are considering a lasting headstone for a loved one, take a drive by Chandler Funeral Home to view their wide variety of sizes and colors. For personalized assistance in selecting your monument, contact Chandler Funeral Home at 732-1311 or on the web at chandlerfuneralhome.net. Choose comfort. Choose Chandler Funeral Home. And we are back, Howard J. Duvall Memorial Field, the fairgrounds in Caldwell, Ohio. Bill Castler, Dr. Richard Hall, and I'll tell you what, Caldwell snuck their band out there. I didn't even see, didn't even see them go, how do you sneak a whole band out in the field? I missed the whole thing. But anyway, we were right in the middle of talking about the Redskins. We were talking about the fact that they will be without uh, Marshall Sayre this year, all Ohio running back, uh, really one of the keys to the Redskins, missing some other players too. Tice DeVault, another outstanding running back. Uh, Braxton Dudley, outstanding safety and wide receiver. And then Colby Langley and Ethan Carpenter, a couple of real solid linemen. So the Redskins 
down five players, very key players from last year. So filling those holes is going to be a real key for them. Yeah, it will be. But that's one of the great things about high school athletics. A lot of these kids have waited their turn. This is their time. So it's going to be exciting tonight to watch what the Caldwell Redskins put out there on the field. Incidentally, you are listening to the Chandler Funeral Home pregame show. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the Warriors, Rich. Uh, Buckeye Trail, they're returning quite a bit. Uh, one real big key loss, of course, Nick Newhart, the uh, senior last year, was a great quarterback. 767 yards passing, 540 rushing. He accounted for 18 touchdowns. So an inexperienced quarterback under center for the Warriors, but I'll tell you what, they've got a lot of advantages tonight. They return a lot of players from last year's team. Yeah, they do. According to eight, eighth year head coach Donnie Kearns, he really likes the camp that his team had. He feels like they've really gotten better and his goal is to come out and play well and get better each week. And he feels like if they do that and work hard, the wins will take care of themselves. And that's a big test for him tonight. Buckeye Trail knows that they really want to try to keep the Caldwell offense off the field. And so Buckeye Trail is going to really look to control the football. They will mix it up, though, Bill. They will throw the ball down the field. They feel they feel really good about Brandon Williams and uh, Travis Dodd. They may run a two-quarterback system tonight, and that's just going to give Caldwell a little different look, a little more to prepare for. So Buckeye Trail is going to really try to mix it up tonight with the run and the pass. Yeah, Williams a little bit more of a, an accomplished passer, whereas Travis Dodd will keep the ball on the ground, of course. If the Warriors keep the ball on the ground, keep an eye on number seven, Charlie Perry. He's a steady back. He's kind of what Marshall Sayre uh, was for Caldwell last year. He's real steady in the backfield. He really is, and he's a real tough kid. And what they want to do with Charlie Perry is just kind of pound the football. If they can maintain possession, that's going to be a key for them. If Perry can pick up those hard-to-gain tough yards, Buckeye Cho should be in good shape on the offensive side of the ball. Well, the Caldwell Redskins have some explosive players, but a Buckeye Trail does as well, particularly number 34, Cohen Egan. And I'll tell you something right now. They're going to try to get the ball into Cohen's hands out in open space because he's a game breaker. They really are, and they're going to do a lot of different things to try to get him the football, whether it be as a running back out of the backfield or try to get in his hands, uh, whether it be a screen pass and may even see him line up in the slot and try to throw it downfield. But they definitely want to get the ball in Egan's hands as much as they can tonight. Redskins will be receiving the kickoff. We are getting ready for that uh, right now. Uh, you have incidentally been listening to the Chandler Funeral Home pregame show right here on WYLE FM. And Redskins taking the field. They are getting ready to receive. Warriors getting ready to kick off. Uh, looks to me like uh, is Charlie Perry, number seven. I think he's the kickoff man. Yeah, special teams, Bill, I think is going to be a key for Buckeye Trail tonight. Uh, back deep to receive for the Redskins, number seven. That is uh, Alex Herwin, and I believe... That is also number, is that number one? That is Dylan Wheeler. So two speedy receivers back deep to receive for the Redskins. Getting ready now for that opening kickoff. And uh, man, 2023 season, we're seconds away from kickoff. I, hard to believe. I'm still studying baseball statistics. And here we are getting ready to play some football. Yeah, I said this pregame or before we got on the air that football season to me is the fastest 10 weeks of the year. And so it all starts tonight here in Noble County with Buckeye Trail versus Caldwell. Both teams 0-0 oh and, oh and uh, looking forward to the upcoming year. Hey, uh, one quick note. Uh, one of the uh, backs coming back for um, Redskins, Gavin Leake, he was a freshman last year. Look, they look for him to carry the ball a lot, kind of like what Marshall Sayre did last year. He's out with a uh, small stress fracture in his foot, so uh, he won't be in tonight, and that is going to hurt the Redskins a little bit because I think he probably was their best runner between the tackles. Yeah, they really were going to count on trying to give him the football a lot and give him a lot of carries, and unfortunately for him, uh, he's not on the field tonight. All right, Perry with kickoff now. Low line drive kick. It'll skip around. Gets past the up. Back here is Herlin with the football. No, excuse me, that is Wheeler with the football. Fights his way out to right around the 16-yard line. Warriors are all over him there. It'll be Redskins football, first and 10. Very good pursuit there by Buckeye Trail to make the tackle. 
Finally underway. All right, Warriors come out. Expect Buckeye Trail defensively to either be in a 4-4 four, four, four or a 50 front, an odd front at times. Try to just throw the Redskins off balance just a bit. Odd front right now, three-man front. And Cale Bender in the shotgun to start the game for the Redskins. There's the snap. Bender's taking it, rolling left. He's going to little pitch outside. That is number two, Ethan Croc. Up the field goes Croc. Nice gain on first down. He is very close to a first down if he didn't get it. And that is a Caldwell Lumber first down. Redskins ball first and 10 now. They're on the 30-yard line. Bender, the quarterback, in the shotgun again. The snap, Bender rolling left again, looking, looking. Fires it downfield. That is Herlin trying to make the catch. And ball skips away. That's going to make it second down and 10. So right away, the Redskins come out. They're throwing the football. They're trying to spread things around. And that is what Coach Rucker said they wanted to. That was what Coach Kearns said he was worried about. Exactly. Coach Kearns, would talk, I talked to him early in the week, and he was concerned about being spread out by the Caldwell offense. Bender has the ball again back, looking this time the right side. Out there, that is uh, number two. That's Ethan Croc with the catch. Short gain for Croc, maybe a gain of right around four on the play. That'll bring up a third down now, right around six to go for the Redskins. Shotgun formation again. I'll tell you what, these long yarded situations don't bother Cale Bender too much. Been there, seen it, done it. Bender's back, looking again, a little pressure this time, down the middle of the field, he's got a man out there, that's a nice catch. That's number two, Ethan Croc with the catch. Way down on the Buckeye Trail, 29 yard line, they're gonna spot it at the 30. Caldwell Lumber first down for the Redskins. Yeah, great throw by Bender there, and Croc did a nice job over the shoulder catch, a big gain for the Redskins. Warriors brought a pretty heavy rush, but he got it off. Nice job by Bender, nice catch by Croc. Redskins are in business. They're on the Buckeye Trail side of the field. Cale Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun again. The snap, the give, straight ahead. That's the running back, that's number one. Dylan Wheeler slips a tackle and breaks into the secondary fumble. Let's see what we've got. Uh, let's see if they unpile it. I'm pretty sure they dropped that ball on the ground while it was live. So he, let's see, officials. Looks to me like the Redskins still have it. Nice job by Wheeler, but as one of the Warriors made the tackle, they grabbed his arm, popped loose on the ground. That was a fumble and recovered by the Redskins. That's a Caldwell Lumber first down. Redskins continue to move down the field. Cale Bender, the quarterback now in shotgun. The snap, the give straight ahead. Wheeler this time is wrestled down. Boy, nice job in there. That is number four, that is Mason Todd for the Warriors. Smelled that play out, he came right up. That's uh, probably about a three yard loss on the play. Sure did, did a great job on pursuit to the football and made a great tackle. All right, second down right around, looks like 12 to go now. Shotgun formation, Bender gets the snap, he's back, he's looking, pressure, little screen, up the middle, man wide open, into the end zone, that's number one, Dylan Wheeler. Touchdown Redskins. 9.50 left here in the first quarter of play. Caldwell's on the board. Dylan Wheeler. Little screen pass, nice job by Bender getting it out there and uh, Wheeler kind of weaved his way down the field in for six. Number 34, Chaz Pfeffer, the kicker this year for Caldwell. The holder is Dylan Wheeler, the man who scored the six points. The 
Snap, balls down, it's up, it is good. 9.50 left in the first quarter. The score, Caldwell 7, Buckeye trail nothing. We'll take a break, back with more right after this. Everyone's looking for an encouraging sign in today's economy. The fact is, you'll find one right here in Caldwell at State Farm Sue Snow's office. Because State Farm agents like Sue have been here helping people protect the things that matter most. That's why more people trust State Farm, and they consider that a very good sign. See State Farm agent Sue Snowd at 400 East Street, Caldwell. Sue Snowd State Farm is a proud supporter of high school sports. Unveil a new perspective with Forshi Air Picks. Their FAA certified drone pilot captures breathtaking shots that elevate your moment. From dreamy weddings to stunning landscapes, real estate wonders to towering constructions or home inspection pictures, they've got it covered. Let them soar to new heights for you because they get the pictures you can't reach. Call 581-0919 and see your world from above with Forshi Air Picks. Welcome back to the Coldwell Fairgrounds. Redskins on top, seven to nothing. Now we are getting ready now for another Southeastern Ohio counseling kickoff. Great first drive, Bill, for the Caldwell Redskins. Kale Bender was four for five for 61 yards, to the, and that 17-yard touchdown pass to Dalen Wheeler. So great, great opening drive for the Redskins. He looked like a senior, like a three-year starter, didn't he? Sure did. I mean, just experience showed up right there. He kept us cool, as he always does. All right, Pfeffer with the kickoff now for the Skins. He gets his foot into it. Yeah, let's see, letting it roll out of bounds. That'll be a penalty. Number four, Mason Todd wisely let that one go by and uh, will uh, give the Buckeye Trail Warriors some good field position here to start their first drive. Now it's going to be important, Bill, that Buckeye Trail go down and try to answer it and at the very least control this game offensively and wind that clock down as much as they can. Well, at the same time, Coach Kearns is over there on the sidelines and he's trying to diagnose uh, what Buckeye Trail did. Pretty obvious what they did. They spread the ball around, which is just what everybody thought the game plan was going to be. They did a good job with it. One good run in there. Yeah, they really did. But again, like you said, Kale Bender, just the, the experience just really showed itself and he just controlled the game there early. All right, Travis Dodd, the quarterback now. They're going to run that wing tee straight up, and that's Perry. Oh, they, they, they're going to whistle right away. Warriors will either be in a wing tee or what they call the gun tee, which is simply the wing tee in a shotgun formation. So a little bit of procedure there on the Warriors. It'll cost them five. It's going to make it first down and 15. All right, number 12, Travis Dodd up under center again. Wing T formation, the snap, the give. Here's Egan with the football. He's got some room, the 40 outside, almost up to the 45-yard line. He's very close to a first down. Don't think he quite made it. He's second down and one now. Nice job there by Cohen Egan. Yeah, and we said in the pregame, Cohen, Cohen, Cohen Egan was going to get the ball a lot tonight, and that's just an example of what he can do with the football. One of the wing backs, and he is very explosive. All right. Travis Dodd, the quarterback. Perry is the fullback. Long count, the snap, the give. That's Perry, drops the ball. He's going to fall on it. He's going to lose it. Redskins say they have it. Let's see. They are going to give the good ball to Caldwell. So one of the things that we talked about, Coach Kearns said we can't turn the ball over that time. Travis Dodd, I, he got short-armed a little bit, I think, is what happened that time to Perry. Didn't quite get the ball, got it on his hip, dropped it, and the Redskins were right there. Yeah, that is not how Buckeye Trail wanted to start. So first and 10 Redskins now with the turnover. They've got the ball on the Warriors 41 yard line. Huddling on the sidelines now, the Redskins come out. Warriors need a stand right here. Let's see if they can put a little bit more pressure on number 28, Kale Bender. Bender in the shotgun formation. Twins right, twins left. 
The snap, Bender's back. He's looking, looking, looking. Down the middle of the field now, guns the ball. He's got a man up there. That is number two, Ethan Kroc. Bender has been right on the money with the football. That's going to be a Caldwell Lumber first down. And the Redskins have it right around the 14 yard line. So 8.56 here in the first quarter. Redskins are rolling again. Warriors need to get some pressure on number 28, Kale Bender. Because right now he looks kind of like a surgeon. Long count, the snap, Bender's got it. He's gonna hand the ball off this time inside. That is number two, Ethan Kroc. Kroc gets the ball down inside the 10 to right around the seven yard line. He'll bring up a second down. All right, Bender in the shotgun one more time now. The snap, he's got it straight ahead. Again, that's Croc. Not much room this time. Warriors close down that hole in the middle of the line. Short gain, I think, that time for Croc. Yeah, Buckeye Trow did a good job of stiffing up there on defense to get the stop. Third down, right around round one to go. This is pretty key right here. I think Chaz Pfeffer has the range to kick it in from here for a field goal, but uh, you know, if you're over there, uh, Coach Chance Rucker, he wants six more. Sure does, and he's got the personnel with Bender and company to do that. A little delay by the officials here. 7.44 left, now clock is rolling. Redskins come up with the football. Benders in the shotgun formation. Jarrett Van Fossen is back there with him. Number 21. Uh, we got a timeout now. Not sure what would the uh, timeout by Caldwell. Hey, want to thank our uh, sponsors tonight of this football game. A lot of them. Meyer Shear from Municipal Judge, Doan Ford, People's Bank, West 40 Auto Sales, McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home, Patty's Place, Horsey Air Picks, Chandler Funeral Home, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance, Labor's Local 530, WB Green Insurance, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Boyd Precision Painting, Sue Snowed State Farm, and Southeastern Ohio Counseling. Without all these fine sponsors, Dr. Hall and I could not be here tonight. You may not miss me, but you miss Dr. Hall. <laughs> not, not true, Bill. Not true at all. <laughs> you know, this is a good time. Yeah, it sure is. High school football. Doesn't get any better than this. All right, Redskins back out on the field. 7-17 left in the first quarter. Caldwell needs one yard to get a first down. Bender, the snap, the give straight ahead. That's Van Fossen. I don't think he's got it. I think the Warriors clogged up the middle. Let's see, I think he lost the yard. Fourth down now, and wow. So, I, I think that you could kick a field goal from here, Rich. I really I, do. I think they could, but I don't know that they will with, with, with Bender. Bender has not ran the football yet. He's up under center this time, and straight ahead. And he doesn't have it, unless he was able to get it with second effort. Let's see. Where they, it might depend on the spot. That's close. They gave it to him. I think the official on the far sideline waved the chains. I, I'll tell you what, if he got it, he got it on second effort because basically he took the snap and the center was backed up into him. He went to the left side around the center and was able to fall forward enough to get a first down. Yeah, that would have been a two. If, that, if he would have needed two yards, Bill, or a yard and a half, he wouldn't have got it. First and goal now for the Redskins. They're inside the Buckeye Trail five, right around the two and a half yard line. 6.40 left here in the first quarter. Redskins already up seven nothing, trying to add to that lead. Kale Bender, the quarterback in shotgun. Long count, the snap. 
Bender. This time the left side. Oh, they shut it. No, he breaks a tackle, stretches, doesn't quite make it, but I think he picked. Are they going to say he's in? Yeah, he got it. That's a two yard run by Kale Bender. I'll tell you something, Rich. He earned both of those yards. Got hit several times, but he's able to get in. Touchdown, Redskins. It is 13 0, 635 left in the first. And now Chaz Pfeffer will try to add to that lead. The holder, number one, Dylan Wheeler. The snap, it's down, it's up, it is good. 6.35 left here in the first quarter. The score, Caldwell 14, Buckeye trail nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. What is a cooperative? A cooperative like Guernsey Muskingum Electric is your local rural electric provider. The owners are not investors on Wall Street. They are actual members using the electricity. Decisions are made by local directors who know, listen, and care about their neighbors. A cooperative is not driven by profit or stock prices. Instead, they are driven by providing safe, reliable electricity at a reasonable price. That's the cooperative difference. Guernsey Muskingum Electric, your touchstone energy cooperative. Hey, football fans, laborers, Local 530 in Zanesville, Ohio, is cheering on all the local high school teams this year. Serving Muskingum, Perry, Noble, and Guernsey counties, Local 530 represents around 400 skilled men and women in the building and construction trades. They work with over 100 signatory contractors, providing committed and experienced laborers for building, heavy highway, and pipeline construction. For more information, give them a call at 740-453-1214. Good luck to all the teams from Laborers Local 530. Back at the fairgrounds in Caldwell, getting ready now for the Caldwell kickoff. That is our Southeastern Ohio counseling kickoff. Chaz Speffer will boot it away. Cohen Egan, number 34, and Mason Todd, number four, back deep for the Warriors to receive the kick. Caldwell now leading 14 to nothing in this season opener for both teams. Long kick, Cohen Egan's gonna get the football around the 10 to the 20, 25. He breaks a hole right up the middle of the field. Spectacular tackle, somebody got him and upended him. He ends up on the 44 yard line. Great return by Cohen Egan. He is so very dangerous. He really is. Great run by him. He found space. Good job up front by Buckeye Trail blocking, and Egan took advantage of it. Time for our Sue Snowed scoreboard updates. Brought to you by Sue Snowed State Farm. The score here, it is Caldwell 14, Buckeye Trail nothing. All right. Up under center, that's Travis Dodd now. For the Warriors, straight ahead, Perry's got it, and he lunges ahead for probably right around three or four yards. This is something when you talk to Coach Kearns, he said he wanted to do all week long. You know, he wants to give them a steady diet of number seven, Charlie Perry, but down 14 to nothing. You better get started on that game plan right now. Yeah, that can change your game plan a little bit when you get behind. I mean, that that strategy was if you were. You know, competing like crazy, close in the ball game. And they're still, they still close, but they got, good things need to happen for them. Straight ahead, you know, I, th I think I stand corrected. I think number two, Braden Williams is in at quarterback now for the Warriors. So straight ahead, again, that's Perry. And he's gonna pick up mm, around three yards on the play. So that'll bring up a third down and four to go for Buckeye Trail. This big uh, big first down right here if the Warriors can pick it up. The snap, the give, straight ahead, nice run. That is number five, Jansen Alloway, and Alloway's got it into Caldwell territory right around the 44 yard line. That will be a Caldwell lumber first down for Buckeye Trail. Nice play. That's the old scissors. Sure was. Running back, running back, heads to the right. Wing back comes right around to the left. Nice trap block by the guard, and that's a, that's a standard for the wing tee. And Alloway's going to be a key in the game tonight. Talking to Coach Kearns, he's going to carry the ball some. Straight ahead, Perry this time. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to blast down ahead for right around three yards off tackle. 438 left here in the first, 14-0 Caldwell. 
Warriors really with their first drive of the night here. First possession ended in a fumble. Braden Williams in for his first series as Buckeye Trail quarterback. Coach Kern said you'd see both Travis Dodd and Braden Williams. Dodd started, now Williams. Here's another jet sweep. Cohen Egan's got the ball. He gets it ahead for probably right around three yards on the play. I'm sorry, that was uh, Sammy Brown, zero with the football. So nice run there by Sammy Brown, his first touch of the night. Third down, right around four to go for the Warriors. They need this first down too, Rich. They sure do. Probably for Buckeye Trail, this is four down territory more than likely, but they'd like to pick up the first down on, on the third down. Down 14 to nothing, I'd say you're right. They need a score, they need some momentum, they need it right now. Redskins jumping out quickly to a nice lead. Warriors with the ball straight ahead. Perry's got it, he's got some room. He's gonna pound ahead for a first down. Brought down there by Ethan Croft, but Perry's got enough for the first down. Looks like Charlie found a little bit of that mud on the sidelines. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, Caldwell Lumber, first down for the Warriors there at the Caldwell 28-yard line. 3.09 clock running now here in the first quarter. Braden Williams, the quarterback, brings him up. The snap. A reverse, Cohen Egan's got it, he's got some room. The 20, the 15, 10, five, touchdown Buckeye Trail. Cohen Egan found a huge hole on the right side, Rich. I'll tell you what, once he got it going, there was no looking back, and uh, Buckeye Trail back in the football game. Yeah, that's a big play for Buckeye Trail to go down and score after being down 14-0. They're right back in it at 14-6. So that's a big play. Looks to me like um, Williams is the kicker. No, they're going to go for two. They're going to sling the ball outside, and the Redskins are ready for it. And the try for two fails as they catch number four, Mason Todd, in the backfield. So, 2.52 left here in the first quarter of play. The score, Caldwell 14, Buckeye Trail 6. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Hey there, listeners. It's time to step onto the field of mental wellness with Southeastern Ohio Counseling. Just like a football team needs a strong game plan, your mental health journey deserves expert guidance. Our all-star clinicians are ready to tackle your challenges. From anxiety to relationship issues, they've got a playbook to help you navigate life's tough plays. Don't wait on the sidelines. Reach out today to make a winning move for your mental health. Southeastern Ohio Counseling, where every step forward is a touchdown for your well-being. Do you really think that an insurance company who promises quotes in a few minutes has your best interest in mind? Do they really know you and what coverages you need? Hi, this is John Valentine with Valentine Insurance. We take time to learn about you and your insurance needs so you can feel comfortable that you're receiving the right coverages at the best possible prices. Find us on Facebook, stop by our office, or give us a call at 994-1776. Valentine Insurance, a partner you can depend on. We're back to Fairgrounds in Caldwell. Redskins lead 14 to six over the Buckeye Trail Warriors. Here's our Southeast Ohio counseling kickoff. Short kick's gonna roll out of bounds. That will give the Redskins some good starting field position. Yeah, will, Bill, but I'll tell you, Buckeye Trail did a great job of responding there and going down and putting together a touchdown drive to get right back in this thing. So that was a big possession for the Warriors. No doubt about it, but right now, Coach Kearns on the sidelines is looking for some defensive answers because Caldwell has been very precise. They've spread the ball around. Their offense is moving the ball very, very nicely. They've got to put some pressure on Cale Bender because I'll tell you, he looks like a three-year quarterback, like I said. Three-year starter, I mean, he is precise. He looks to be in mid-season form. Yes, he does. Buckeye Trail's got to disrupt him in some way. 
straight ahead. And there's the give. Not much space up the middle. Number one, that was uh, Dylan Wheeler, and he didn't find a whole lot of room there. No, I don't know if he yeah. picked up anything there, Bill. Yeah. Well, uh, I think he's I think he's picking up his uh, his mouth guard because he's boy he got hit pretty hard. They're gonna, they might have to bring him off the field. Yeah, he's down. I'm not sure who got him, but he got he got a face full of of blue jersey. That was pretty much the way that worked. Oh, he, oh, that's not good. Yeah, he's limping a little bit here. Yeah, and that's Dylan Wheeler and one of the outstanding receivers for the Redskins. So hopefully that's nothing major and he'll come back. One of the things the Redskins have been able to do that uh, both teams were talking about was they've been able to move the ball around the field very, very effectively. Without Dylan Wheeler... He'll be a little bit less effect. Oh, he's looks like he's got weight on the foot now. Oh, that's that's good to see. Yeah, he's he's walking. Trainers over there with him right now, so they're looking at him. Gain of one. Second and nine now. Two twenty-five clock rolling here in the first quarter. Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. The snap. Straight ahead, Bender's looking, looking, and he doesn't find much room. Maybe a gain of two. It's going to bring up third down and seven now for Caldwell. So under two minutes now here in the first quarter. Redskins have a 14-6 lead. Buckeye Trail looking for an all-important first stop here, Rich. Yeah, they really are. They've got to get they've got to get their defense off the field and get their offense back on there. Trips out right. Benders in the shotgun. Single receiver out to the left. The snap. Benders back. Rolling left. Looking. Guns the ball down the field. Hurlin, the intended target. Overthrows Hurlin. That'll bring up fourth down. And we may be looking at our first punt of the night. Yeah, I would think so. It, you know, this field position, I would think that Call would punt it away. But that's only the second incompletion for Bender. He is 5 for 7 for 84 yards here in the first quarter, Bill. So you know he's throwing the ball around. Well, and I'll, I'll tell you what, they rolled him to the left, and good coverage on that side of the field. All right, let's see who's going to punt it away. Egan is back deep to receive. I think Kale Bender is the punter for the Redskins. Yes, number 28's the punter. Snap. Here's the kick, and a good one by Bender. Egan will let it go. Takes a, takes a nice Buckeye trail bounce, and the 30-yard line will be the spot. First and 10 now for the Warriors. 127 left here in the first. Tell you what, a long drive here by Buckeye Trail. They're right back in this. They really are. What a good opportunity for Buckeye Trail. They got a, did a nice job getting a stop right there, played great defense. Now they just need to go down and capitalize on this possession, get right back in this thing, get it tied or get it close, and they're right back in it. Well, you have to feel good for the Warriors. They're, maybe they're getting a little bit of a read on what Caldwell's doing. Seemed like the first two possessions, uh, Redskins, Definitely moving the ball all over the place. Perry with the football now for Buckeye Trail. And number 12, Travis Dodd back in at quarterback. Perry fighting for some extra yards there. I thought he was down. He's got to pick up right around five on the play. Make it six. Second down and four. One ten left here now. In the first quarter. Travis Dodd back in a quarterback. Coach Kern said we'd see a rotating uh, rotating system under center, and we have so far. 
Snap, here's Egan. Egan with the football's got some room, slips out. He's down to the 45. They're gonna run him out of bounds right around the 49 yard line. That's a Caldwell Lumber first down, Cohen Egan. He is elusive when he gets the ball. Sure is, great run there to the outside by Cohen Egan. Picked up about 15 yards there. So under 40 seconds now here in the first quarter, time for another play or two for the Warriors who are taking their time. They seem to want to move the ball on the ground, Rich. If they can do it between tackles, they're very happy about it. Man in motion, here's a give. That is number five for Buckeye Trail, Jansen Alloway. Alloway is brought down after about a two yard gain. I think he ran about 15 yards to make those two yards. Yeah, he did. He tried to get to the outside. Good pursuit by the Caldwell Redskins and picked up two yards. Redskins into the first quarter. Good first quarter, Rich. Yeah, good first quarter. Uh, we knew we this this had potential to be a great game. Caldwell got off to a really hot start. Buckeye Charles regrouped a little bit and right back in this thing. Score after one, it is Caldwell 14, Buckeye Trail six, we'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Attention all car seekers, ready to find the perfect new or used car? Look no further than Troy Blair at Dunning Motor Sales where expert assistance awaits you. Troy Blair is a proud alum of the Meadowbrook Colts. Let him guide you to your dream ride. Troy will ensure you drive away in style with all your questions answered. So don't wait another moment. Visit Dunning Motor Sales today. Experience the difference Troy Blair can make in your car buying journey. You'll be hitting the road in your new vehicle in no time. Welcome back. We're at the fairgrounds, Caldwell, Ohio, Howard J. DeVol Memorial Field. Caldwell Redskins have a 14-6 lead after one, getting ready now for the second quarter of play. Warriors have the football. They're on the Redskins, 49. I'll tell you what, started off like the Redskins were going to kind of dominate this game. Warriors have found a way back in, Rich. They sure have. You know, Buckeye Trail really did a great job of overcoming adversity there. They could have fallen apart. They did not. You know, went down, had a great possession, 28-yard TD run by Cohen Egan, and now they're moving the ball uh, against the Redskins. So they're right back in this game. Second down, right around eight to go now for the Warriors. Travis Dodd, the quarterback, straight ahead. Dodd's gonna try the run, and he's gonna have some success. Bounces off one man. He's down to right around the 39. That'll be enough for a Caldwell Lumber first down for the Warriors. They're now in Redskin territory. This was a, a point of interest to us, the Buckeye Trail offensive line against the Caldwell defensive line. You know, you have to keep an eye on number 60, Chase Norman for the Redskins. But to this point, the Warriors have done a pretty good job neutralizing him. Dodd under center, the snap, the give, the double reverse. Here's Egan with the football, the 35, the 30. Makes one man miss, 25-20. And he's down deep into Redskin territory. They're gonna call it right around the 19 yard line. Great run right there by Cohen Egan. Sure was, 20 yard run by Egan. And uh, he's done a great job tonight so far. That's one thing that's impressive about Cohen. Down the field, got hit, absorbed the blow and basically bounced off and was able to run up the field for another 10 yards. You know, Cohen Egan, that's his fourth carry for 72 yards total. All right, Dodd the quarterback again in shotgun formation this time. The snap, Perry's got the ball. Perry straight ahead. And he's going to have right around three yards on the play. Nice job there by the Redskins, clogging up the middle just a little bit. Coming up on 11 minutes left here in the second quarter. Redskins have a 14-6 lead. Warriors with the football inside the Caldwell 20. 
Travis Dodd brings him up again. Shotgun formation. The snap. Straight ahead. Dodd's got it. Makes one man miss. Cuts it back up inside. He's down inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. Tough run by Travis Dodd, as advertised, he will run. Yeah, we knew that coming in, that that was gonna be his strength, was to run the football, and so far he's done a real nice job with that. That's gonna make it third down right around one here. Big down for both teams. Redskins need a stop, Warriors need that one. Tell you what, they are on the brink here of being right back in this football game. Timeout on the field. Both teams taking a look at this one, Rich. I'll tell you what, you're on the Buckeye Trail sideline. What are you telling your kids? Well, you know, they're doing a great job running the football. They have not thrown the football yet tonight, Bill, so they're controlling the off their offense with the run. So, you know, if you're Buckeye Trail, you just keep preaching to the offensive line, which they said coming in they thought was a strength of theirs. Just keep plugging away, fellas, and just keep keep doing your job. Just knock, do your job. Knock your man back a little bit, and the backs are doing an outstanding job as well. Now, if you're Chance Rucker on the Caldwell sidelines, what are you telling your kids? You're basically telling your kids, look, they're running the ball. Let's, like he said in pregame, he said, you know, hey, let's fly to the football. Let's get a hat on the ball. Let's get somebody on that football. First man holds him, next two bring him down. Exactly, but Buckeye Trail's offensive line is doing a great job of creating space for their both their quarterback and their, their running backs. Third down and one, I'd say this is four down territory. We'll have to see what happens this down. Travis Dodd, the quarterback for the Warriors. The snap, the turn, the give. Perry's got it. He, ooh, whoa. I, it depends on the spot. They're saying yes. Perry's got it, and not by a whole lot. <laughs> no, this he, he's he's tall. He's a lanky kid, and he just stretched out just enough to get it. They gave him credit for about two yards, but it was a generous two yards, just enough to get the first down there. No doubt about that. All right, first and ten now inside the ten yard line. So it's first and goal for the Warriors there on the seven. The snap, here's Egan with the football. And he tries to reverse his field. Nothing doing. Caldwell had every hole clogged up that time and Cohen Egan had nowhere to go. Loss of probably right around one on the play. Now they'll say no game. So it's second and goal now from the seven. All right, Dodd brings him up again. He'll be right under center. Perry is the fullback. Long count, the snap. Oh, up inside, that is number five, Jensen Alloway. Not much room there. Redskins close down the hole and uh, that's gonna bring up third down probably from right around the six yard line. So it's third and goal from the six. Might be a passing situation here, Rich. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it could be. It could be the first pass of the night or, or at least. We'll see, Travis Dodd is the quarterback. Maybe some kind of a quarterback RPO, run pass option, we'll see. The snap, he's back, he's looking, looking, looking. Gonna gun the ball into the corner. Man falls down for the Warriors and the ball sails out of bounds. That'll bring up a fourth down for the Warriors. Good thing that ball was high there, Bill, because the only people that were around that were the Caldwell Redskins. Brady Hastings was in the end zone, but uh, he fell down. I don't know if there was any contact. If there was, it was incidental. I know Bender was on pursuit and was in the area when the ball came down, so Buckeye Trail, very fortunate not to have a turnover there. Well, they're gonna go for it here. I don't know if I blame them. Good opportunity, they really, I don't know that they have developed a kicking game yet. So here's Dodd up under center now. Fourth down and goal for the Warriors, big down. 
Double reverse, Egan's got it, and, oh, flag on the play, let's see. I don't think Egan made it. Uh, in an area where it might be a hold, we'll just have to see. Yep. It is holding way. against Buckeye Trail. That might change your, that might change it now. Well, if they refuse Depending the penalty, what does. then uh, Caldwell gets the football. Let's see. Redskins will have the football. So, yeah. Big stand by the Caldwell defense. Buckeye Trail takes it right down to the doorstep. Can't get across. Big, big defensive stop there for the Caldwell Redskins. Buckeye Trail was driving, and Caldwell did a great job of not letting them score there. All right, Redskins ball, the snap, straight ahead, Whew. not much room there. Trying to go off tackle, and let's see, they're gonna spot it right around the four, so it's a gain of three on the play. I really couldn't even get a number, there was so much traffic there. Bender, up under center. Ooh. Man moves for the Redskins, so that'll cost them a couple. That may have been Kale Bender with a sneak. That's what I. That's why I think it was him. So now that'll cost them two. Bring up a second down, right around nine to go for the Redskins. They need a first down here because if they don't get one, they'll be punting from the back of the end zone. Second down. Straight ahead. Bender, he's got some room. Fights through, he's, he's got it to right around the 11 yard line. Let's see, enough for a first down? Not quite, I think he's gonna be about a yard short. Third and short, straight ahead, hurry up. Let's see, he's got it. Bender takes it out to right around the 15, right behind his center. Yeah, we know Bender, that's a strength of his to run the football. And uh, did a great job there getting the first down for Caldwell. Coach Rucker puts him right up under center and they just run that sneak three consecutive times, first down. Now they're back in shotgun formations. Field spread a little bit more now. Two receivers to the right. One receiver to the left. Man in the backfield with Bender, who's got it in the shotgun. Hurling down the middle of the field. The 30 spins, makes one man miss, drops the ball. Let's see. They're going to say he was down, I think. Hurling made the catch, hit the ground, dropped the ball. Warriors picked it up. They're all pointing. We've got it. Official says, no, no, he was down. So that'll be a Coldwell Lumber first down for the Redskins. Hurry up offense one more time. Oh, here's a nice job, Dylan Wheeler with the football and the Warriors stack him up on the line of scrimmage. Gain of maybe one on the play. Good to see Dylan Wheeler back in the ball game. He, uh, he was a little, came up a little gimpy uh, one drive ago. Yes, he did. So yeah, it's great to see him back on the, on the field. You hate to see anybody get hurt. Redskins with the football, second down and nine. Bender back in the shotgun formation again. The snap, Bender's back. He's looking, screen, screen, right up the middle. That's Dylan Wheeler with the ball. The 40, the 45, the 50, the 45, down to the 40 yard line. Great run by Dylan Wheeler. Rich, that's the second time tonight the screen has worked very well for the Redskins. And Cale Bender, he waited until the Warriors were right on top of him and he just lobbed the ball over their heads. Yeah, that was all by design. They won to bait the defensive end to get to him. He, they did that and then right to, right to Wheeler for the 19-yard gain. Caldwell Lumber first down. Dylan Wheeler with a nice run after catch. Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun, back and looking. Got all kinds of time. He's going to gun the ball down the field. That's pick. Oh, should have been picked off. Wow, number four. That is Mason Todd. He was all over the football, had it in his hands, and it slipped right through. 
So that may have been the first mistake we've seen Cale Bender make all night, and he doesn't end up paying for it. Yeah, yeah, Todd had it right in his hands and just dropped it. But, yeah, you're right. That's probably, and I, don't, I won't even say it was a poor decision. The ball was just a little bit underthrown by Bender and got away with one there. Shotgun formation, 14-6. Redskins with the lead and the football, 531 left here in the first half. Cale Bender, the quarterback, back, rolling right, lobs the ball out. That is number two, Ethan Crock. Crock with a football, the 30, the 25. Got enough for a first down. Nice job there by Ethan Crock to catch that football and pick up enough yardage for the first down. Caldwell Lumber first down. 5.22 left here in the second. Buckeye Trail cannot afford to give Caldwell another touchdown. No, it's exactly right. You know, they're in this game, but the last thing they want to do is go down 21-6 or 20 to 6. Particularly after taking the ball all the way down to inside, you know, inside the 5-yard line and not being able to put it uh, put it away. Turned the ball over on downs and and this has been the result of uh, that possession right heel here as Cale Bender's taking them down to the Buckeye Trail 26 yard line, 513 left here in the first half. Timeout on the field. I think Buckeye Trail wanting to talk things over just a little bit. Boy, that makes that drop by number four, Mason Todd, just all the more critical right there. And you know, I, I think Mason just took his eye off the football. I think that basically he had the ball and was looking upfield to see what can I do here. Slipped through his hands. All right, Rich. Your coach, Donnie Kearns, you've got to find a way to put some pressure on Cale Bender. You sure do, and they haven't got to him yet tonight, so that's a, oh, uh, that's and, a problem. And when they have, he's burned them. A couple of screens. Uh, I mean, Cale just doesn't make many mistakes. No, he doesn't. All right. Redskins back out on the field. 5-13 left here in the first half. Kale Bender in the, the shotgun formation. Long count, the slow snap. Bender picks it up, he's got some pressure this time, breaks it to the outside. He's gonna get, probably pick up right around six yards on the play. And that time it was Kale Bender making something out of nothing, got some pressure able to break outside the pocket, pick up six yards. Bill, that's just how good he is. That was a busted play and he still turned it into a positive gain of six yards. Well, that was good pressure by the Warriors. That's exactly what Coach Kearns wants. He wants pressure, but made the escape, evaded the, the pressure, picked up six. Yeah, sure did. Negative play into a positive play. Bender in the shotgun. Here we go again. The snap, Bender's back. He's looking, looking, looking. Buckeye Trail a little hesitant now. Now they're going to run after him. Perry comes in, get it, gets a hand on him there. Now they're going to bring him down. Flag on the play. That might be a hold on the Redskins. Let's see. Good chance of that where the flag came from. Don't know for sure. Deep in the backfield, it, it could go either way. Let's see. Officials talking things over right now. And here comes the... Pick, are they picking the flag up? They're picking the flag up. They're saying no penalty. So 4.55 left here now in the second quarter of play. Warriors with the football. Third down, right around four to go. They're right around the Caldwell 20 yard. They're right around the Buckeye Trail 20 yard line. Kale Bender in the shotgun. Redskins knocking on the door again. The snap, Bender's back, rolling, rolling right. Guns the ball down the field, he's got a man out there. Let's see, is that in bounds? They're gonna say he was out of bounds. Nice job there by Ethan Crock to catch the ball. Couldn't get a foot down. That's gonna bring up a fourth down now. I think this is four down territory, Rich. Oh, no question about it. Yeah, you've got, you've got, you've got a 14-6 lead. You got the ball right around the Buckeye Trail 20. 
You go for this. Absolutely. Kale Bender, the quarterback. Twins right, twins left. 21, Jared Van Fossen in the backfield with Bender. Bender's back, he's looking, pressure. Up underneath, knocked down, great job there. That is number one, that is Blake Wabel knocking that pass down. Ball goes over to Buckeye Trail. This time, the Warriors dodge a bullet as the Redskins drive it. Yeah, great job by Buckeye Trail. Wable there got to it, knocked it away. Possession, Buckeye Trail. That's a big play, Bill. Keep in mind, that possession for the Redskins started way back down. Buckeye Trail taking the ball inside the five-yard line. Cale Bender took it all the way down to right around the 20-yard line and couldn't get four crucial yards for a first down. Buckeye Trail with the football in at quarterback. Now number two, Braden Williams. Wing T formation, snap the give. Here comes Egan with the football, makes one man miss. Now he's upended, and he's going to have it to right around the 31 yard line. I think that is going to be enough for a Caldwell Lumber first down for the Warriors. Back and forth we go. Yeah, and, and Egan, you know, this quarter three carries 31 yards, so he's helping well, keep Buckeye Trail in this thing. Coach Kern said we got to get him the ball in space. Well, they, they found a way to do that and he has delivered. I'll tell you what, when 34 catches the ball, everybody's holding their breath. Wing T formation. That's a nice run there. That is uh, Blake Wabel, one of the wing backs, picking up right around five yards. It'll make it second and five. 352 left now in the first half. The Warriors have plenty of time to drive the ball down the field. They need some points out of this drive, though. They sure do, but I think that's you know that's going to be their goal was to go down and score right by the end of the second quarter, and tie this thing up. Hopefully, of your Buckeye Trail. It's all about timing. Braden Williams, the quarterback, shotgun formation, the give. That's number four, Mason Todd. Todd fighting his way up the field. He's going to pick up right around three yards. It'll bring up a third down and three for the Warriors. 3.18 left here now. Clock stops as I think that Todd was able to run out of bounds. Well, Braden Williams now under center for the Warriors. And he's going to come up in the wing T formation. Snap. The give Perry. Perry's got the ball. Makes one man miss, and the other, the second man, does not miss. That is number one, Dylan Wheeler. Wheeler brings him down. Nice job there. That's going to bring up a punting situation for Buckeye Trail now. Number 20, Brady Hastings, and they're going to try to run it. Boy, did he make it. Oh, that's awfully close. Let's see. They run the fake, and it depends on the spot. Let's see. Uh, the boy, uh, everybody's clustered around. I can't even see where the ball is. It's right over here on the Buckeye, on the, on the close side of the sidelines. Let's see. They're looking at it. Oh, man. Tight, tight, tight decision, and a big one. They're going to measure it. It's that close. Oh, and I mean, it was right on top of the chains. So they are going to measure it. Let's see. He didn't get it. That's first down. Caldwell. Big stop by the Redskins defense. Number 20, Brady Hastings trying to run. They, they fake the punt. Brady Hastings close. So the Redskins are going to have the football right around the Buckeye Trail 41-yard line. Two thirty-six left here now in the first half. With the way that Cale Bender is throwing the football, though, Caldwell can score before this half is over. The snap, the give. That's Ethan Crock with the football. They string it out. Now Crock 
pulled down. Nice job there, that is number 20, that is Brady Hastings, the man who did not pick up that first down on the punt, and uh, first play, he's in there and pulls uh, down number two, Ethan Kroc, for a three yard loss. Second down and 13 to go. Bender, back in the shotgun formation again. Trips left, single receiver out to the right. The snap, Bender's got it. Rolling left, looking, looking, looking. He's got some time, he's gonna get it down the field. Got a man wide open down there. That is number three, Hunter Parks, touchdown, Redskins. That is Hunter Parks sneaking in behind the safety, and that's a cardinal sin right there if you're the safety. You can't get one, let one of those receivers get behind you, and Parks did. That's going to make it 20-6 to six now, Redskins. Big score right before the half. Yeah, they just lost Hunter Parks there. And Bender did a great job of finding him. Uh, that's uh, Cale Bender setting a new passing record for Caldwell right there. So congratulations out to Cale Bender. Pfeffer adds the extra point. The score is Caldwell 21, Buckeye Trail 6. Still got a little time left in the second quarter. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Celebrating a decade of deliciousness, Patty's Place has been serving homestyle cooked meals since 2013. Indulge in their homemade pies daily and enjoy breakfast served all day long. They're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays. Don't forget to check out their Facebook page for daily specials. Conveniently located between Bell Valley and Caldwell on State Route 821. Come on over and satisfy your cravings at Patty's Place. In today's marketplace, you have many choices for insurance. WB Green Insurance, a representative of Westfield Insurance, is committed to providing you with excellent coverage for your home and auto at a fair and competitive price. Westfield has been in the neighborhood for over 150 years, providing peace of mind and quality insurance products through independent insurance professionals. Sharing knowledge, building trust, is Westfield's pledge to their customers. Call WB Green Insurance today. We're back at the fairgrounds in Caldwell getting ready for our Southeastern Ohio counseling kickoff as the Redskins getting ready to kick it away to the Warriors. Cohen Egan is back deep to receive. He's one of the deep men for Buckeye Trail. He had two returns for kickoff last year for touchdown, so he's dangerous. He's going to get the football right around the 10, the 15, the 20. Cuts it to the outside. He's brought up, upended out there right around the 26 yard line. First and 10 Warriors. Coach Kearns had a circle drawn around special teams and so far Caldwell has had an answer for everything the Warriors have done. They really have and you know if you're Buckeye Trail you really want to try to go down and get some points just to give yourself a chance to get back in this game. 2-0-2 left now here in the first half. Let's see who's out there quarterback this time. It is number two. Braden Williams, considered the throwing quarterback. Williams is back, he's taking a look, makes one man miss and not the second. They're gonna pull him down for about a six yard loss, maybe more. That time Williams went back looking for a receiver and all of a sudden, plenty of black jerseys around him and they bring him down. Call it a seven yard loss, second down and 17 now for the Warriors, 134 clock rolling here in the first half. Buckeye Trail has not thrown a pass tonight, so Caldwell's not expecting them to, and so they just went after Williams and took him down for a six yard loss. Well, in this situation, you have to figure Buckeye Trail is going to have to pick up some yards in the air. <laughs> just heard a score from Barnesville. Shamrocks all over Buckeye local, 43 to nothing. Man. Could be a long night for Buckeye local. Well, you know, I, Shamrocks usually come in loaded. I mean, they a uh, pretty good football program down there in Barnesville. 
See if we can pick up a Shenandoah score here. That'd be kind of nice. They've got uh, Union Local tonight. Game on KC 105. All right. Well, Warriors come back out. They huddle up. Second down and 17 now for Buckeye Trail. Let's see what the Warriors have up their sleeve. Wing T formation this time. Oh, drops the snap. Let's see, flags all over the place. Let's see what, they're saying Chase Norman got it. Let's see what the call is with the flags. No, those were markers, pardon me. You know, the officials throw those orange markers in, they look like flags. Yeah, they get confusing. Redskins in business again with the football. We've got a score here now on uh, Shenandoah Union Local. Zepps up by two, eight to six in the first quarter. Bender back at quarterback, just breaking the all-time Caldwell Redskins past career passing mark right there with that last touchdown. Bender back looking in, guns the ball down the middle. One of the Warriors, number 64, that's Nick Taflin, got his hands on that football, almost had it. Under a minute to go now here in the first half. 21-6, Redskins looking to add to that lead. They've got the ball all the way down on the Buckeye Trail 20-yard line. Drop snap by number two, Braden Williams. Bender back in the shotgun again. Second and 10 now. Back and looking, Bender. Down to the inside, Herlin's got it, Herlin makes one man miss, into the inside, he's gonna score! Touchdown Caldwell. Flag on the play, let's see, that, that was an awfully late flag, that may be unsportsmanlike, let's see. Herlin was able to get in the end zone, kinda drug his man along. Be interesting to see what this call is. Could be on sportsmanlike, it could be either way. I think it's Herlin for spiking the football after the touchdown, I think. All right, Chaz Pfeffer to try the extra point. Are they gonna take the six off the board? Pfeffer in to try for one point now. 48 seconds left here in the first half. Redskins up 27 to six. Snap, it's down, it's up, it is good. Oh, no good, excuse me. So he was off to the left that time. So Pfeffer misses, but that's about the only thing that's gone wrong so far for the Redskins. The score, 48 seconds left in the first half. It's Caldwell, 27, Buckeye Trail, 6. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. When a loved one dies, the remaining family members are oftentimes overcome with sadness, grief, confusion, and stress. If you are burdened with planning a funeral, let the experience and compassion of the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home staff ease the difficult situation at hand. Ken and Robin Perkins will guide you through the process of making arrangements. Phone McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home of downtown Caldwell at 732-4223 or their web address is mcveigh-perkins.com. And welcome back, we're at the fairgrounds. So with the unsportsmanlike penalty, Redskins are gonna be kicking the ball off with just 48 seconds left here in the um, first half. Up from 10 yards back of the 40, let's see. Actually, he's gonna be kicking it from the 25, so Cohen Egan 
may have an opportunity here to return this kick with just 48 seconds left. Pfeffer with the kickoff. Redskins lead 27 to six. Cohen Egan, and so I think uh, that is uh, number four back there, Mason Todd with him. So here we go, this one is booted to Cohen Egan at the 25, the 30, the 40, 45, 50, into Redskins territory right around the 47 yard line. Nice return by Cohen Egan. Warriors have the football first and 10 at the Caldwell 46 yard line. Let's uh, check our Sue Snowed State Farm scoreboard. Score here. Caldwell 27, Buckeye Trail 6, and uh, Shenandoah leading Union Local 8-6 to six in the first quarter. Warriors with the football now. Quarterback is number 12, Travis Dodd. Dodd fakes it. He's back. He's looking. He's going to step up and run the football. Makes one man miss. The 40, the 35, the 30. He's broken it. He's down to the 20. The uh, nice tackle down there. That was, guess who? Number 28 down there with the tackle. Cale Bender saves a touchdown. <laughs> he does it all. Warriors inside the 20. They've got 30 seconds left now. Big run by Dodd there. Yeah, Warriors have to find a way to get some points here. Get themselves back into this football game. Hey, want to thank our crew here tonight. Dr. Richard Hall on color with me. Brett Klein, our technical director. Bryce Haynes on camera and Brock Valentine on camera. Bringing you this coverage and uh, keep in mind, uh, you can watch this game as well. You can listen to it on WYLE FM 97.7. You can also watch this game on uh, the YR TV, YRP TV YouTube page. And we get a kick out of bringing these games. It's nice when you can do the video as well. It really is. It sure is. If you're Buckeye Trail, you really want to try to put something together and score right before the half just to give yourself a little bit of confidence, finish strong. I think they put Williams back in at quarterback. A little bit better thrower. Let's see what happens now. Williams is back. He's looking, looking, pumping the ball down the middle of the field. He's got a man down there. Cohen Egan could not bring it in. Good coverage down there. Alex Herlin, I think, got a hand on it. Knocked it away. And Bill, that's the first pass attempt of Buckeye Trail tonight. Williams had it on the money. I mean, it was there. It was a good throw. Nice job by Herlin as Cohen Egan had, he'd kind of gotten behind them a little bit, but Herlin made up the ground and knocked it away. Back in now at quarterback, Travis Dodd for the Warriors. The snap, Dodd. Makes one man miss at the line of scrimmage. He's down to the 10, the five, he's in! Touchdown Buckeye Trail! That is a big touchdown for Buckeye Trail. Travis Dodd doing it with his feet. Wow, great run by Dodd that time and Buckeye Trail a little hope here at halftime, back oh, in the game. Oh, they, they needed that, you know, boost of confidence as they go to halftime. They can talk about, you know, making some adjustments, but uh, big difference being down 27-12 or 13 versus 27-6, Bill. All right, here's the same set they had the first time. Williams. Linemen all the way out to the left side. A couple linemen all the way out to the right. One center, and Williams back under center. Let's see what they try to do. The snap back. They're going to try to throw it in the corner. Jump ball. He's got it. 
That is a catch there by number 20 for the Warriors, Brady Hastings. The two-point conversion is good. That's pretty big, Rich. Sure is. Gets him right back in it. 27 to 14 now. Big drive by the Warriors. Nice finish with that two-point extra point conversion. So Buckeye Trail cutting into that Caldwell lead right now. That's going to give Coach Rucker a few things to say at halftime. It's going to give Coach Kearns a little bit of hope. He's going to tell his kids, guys, we're not far from being in the lead here. Right. Buckeye Trail did a great job keeping their composure there and going down in a short period of time and putting points on the board. Exactly what Coach Kearns would want them to do. Boy, Travis Dodd, nice run there. How long did? How long was that? 19 yards, Bill. And had a big run right before that, too. So um, Travis Dodd doing it with his legs for the Warriors. Just 14 seconds left in the second quarter, and it's 27-14 now. Quite a game, just what we expected here tonight at the fairgrounds. Two evenly matched teams. A little bit different than last year. Uh, Charlie Perry now is going to kick off for the Warriors. Alex Herlin and uh, number one back there for, that's Dylan Wheeler, back deep for the Redskins. Perry says he's ready. Just 14.7 seconds left here in the first half. Perry approaches, there's the kick, it's a squib kick. One of the up men misses it, ball rolls out of bounds, but it was touched. Let's see if, no, they're gonna say it was not touched. So that will give Caldwell some very good field position, but just 14.7 seconds left here in the second quarter. Well, with the way Bender's been throwing the ball, you know, I, I do the uh, prevent defense. Look for the Warriors to drop a couple of safeties back deep. Yeah, you want nothing over your head, Bill. Like, you know, that's what happened. They gave up that touchdown pass to Hunter Parks, and that's exactly what happened. He got behind the deepest defender, and the Bender found him. So if you're Buckeye Trail, you can't let that happen again. Safety's a little deep, but not particularly deep. Trips out to the right for the Redskins. Little flare out to the right side. That's Wheeler, he's got some room, he breaks it, he's down the sideline. They're gonna bring him down. Eight seconds left, he's gonna be down at right around the 21 yard line. Nice job there by Dylan Wheeler, catching a little flare and he did it with his legs. That was yards after catch. Nice job by the Redskins, getting it in the hands of a playmaker, Dylan Wheeler. All right, that's a Caldwell Lumber first down, and the Redskins back up at the line. Number 28, Kale Bender, back in the shotgun as he's been for most of the night. I know we sound like we're beating a drum, but I mean, Kale Bender just, oh, they, is there some kind of a penalty here? I don't know what's, flag, let's see. Ball down to the 10 yard line. Not good for the Warriors. Bender, back looking, lobs the ball in the end zone, Hurdlin's out there and catch! Redskins score with 4.5 seconds left. Alex Herlin, that's the old alley-oop. That's my guy's taller than your guy. Mm -hmm. That's Herlin, exactly what that is. Herlin at about 6'4", bigger than um, the defensive back. I think it was Braden Williams back there defending, and he just didn't have the, of course, Cale Bender put it right in his hands. Couple of quick, Couple of quick plays for the Redskins and they're back on the board again. Caldwell going for two. Bender back, looking, looking, guns it down the middle. That's knocked down, no good. So 4.5 seconds left here 
in the first half, and the uh, Redskins have jumped out again. Another quick touchdown by Caldwell, the score. It's Redskins 33, Buckeye Trail 14. 4.5 seconds left in the first half. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Hi, this is Gabby from People's Bank. I'm here to tell you about People's Bank's new CD special. It is so good, you need to stop by any People's Bank location today and ask your banker to tell you more. Or visit pebo.com. This special will not last long. You must open your account by September 7th. People's Bank. Working together, building success. Member FDIC. We're back. Just 4.5 seconds left here um, in the first half. Getting ready for the Southeastern Ohio Counseling Kickoff. Chaz Pfeffer getting ready to kick the ball away. Cohen Egan is back deep. Also number four, Mason Todd. Pfeffer now approaches the football, the kick. And rolls out of bounds right around the 15. So good field position now for the Warriors, but I'd say that's fairly smart. Let's not give Cohen Egan a chance to uh, put his hands on the football. Right, I think if you're Caldwell, that's, that's a good play right there. We'll see. I would almost look for Buckeye Trail to take a knee here. They'll have the ball. They're going to have them kick again. Yeah. That's interesting. Four point five seconds left. Pfeffer now may have to uh, put this ball in play. That'll be interesting. You know, I, I think if I'm uh, Coach Rucker, they may or uh, they may squib this ball. I don't want Cohen Egan with his hands on the ball. Yeah, I wouldn't let him touch it. Exactly. Yeah. Caldwell, and this is their final timeout, third timeout of the first half. Now Coach Rucker instructed, I'm pretty sure he's telling Pfeffer, look, just dribble the ball on the ground. Let's not give them an opportunity to get their, probably their most explosive player a chance to uh, put his hands on the ball. As I said, he returned two for touchdown last year for Buckeye Trail. Cohen Egan definitely a bright spot for the Warriors. Yeah, if you're Buckeye Trail, you just have to go get to halftime and try to regroup the best you can. Pfeffer, number 34, back now to kick it again. Like I said, I bet this is dribbled right down the middle of the field. Let's see what we get. Low line drive kick. One of the up men does field it. That's Perry. Perry's brought down there. Nice job there. That is uh, number 20, Jaron Van Fossen with the tackle. And that's going to do it, Rich. Interesting first half. Buckeye Trail fighting to stay in this game, but they have not found an answer yet for Cale Bender. No, they sure haven't. The score at the half, it is Caldwell 33, Buckeye Trail 14. We'll take a break. Uh, we will probably check in with ONN, and uh, we'll be back with more from the fairgrounds right after this. 
Unveil a new perspective with Forshi Air Picks. Their FAA certified drone pilot captures breathtaking shots that elevate your moments. From dreamy weddings to stunning landscapes, real estate wonders to towering constructions or home inspection pictures, they've got it covered. Let them soar to new heights for you because they get the pictures you can't reach. Call 581-0919 and see your world from above with Forshi Air Picks. You've been putting back a few. And a few becomes a few too many. For a moment, you think of calling for a ride, but nah, you live nearby. What's the worst that could happen? You get pulled over, your insurance goes up, you lose your license, you total your car, you kill someone. The results of driving drunk are tragic. That's why law enforcement is out there looking for impaired drivers to save lives. So if you think you're okay to drive after a few drinks, think again. Drive sober or get pulled over. Paid for by NHTSA. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Attention all car seekers, ready to find the perfect new or used car? Look no further than Troy Blair at Dunning Motor Sales, where expert assistance awaits you. Troy Blair is a proud alum of the Meadowbrook Colts. Let him guide you to your dream ride. Troy will ensure you drive away in style with all your questions answered. So don't wait another moment. Visit Dunning Motor Sales today. Experience the difference Troy Blair can make in your car buying journey. You'll be hitting the road in your new vehicle in no time. Now located at 16050 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company is a mutual insurance company established in 1896 for the purpose of providing insurance coverage to rural Ohio. They offer a product to meet your insurance need, whether it is for a farm, rental dwelling, home in town, secondary or seasonal dwelling, churches, or mobile home. They partner with Grinnell Mutual Insurance Company to offer liability coverage to package with their Patrons Buckeye Mutual policy. Call today at 638 638- Three six zero four, and follow them on Facebook at Patrons Buckeye. Myra Shearer. Myra Shearer. Myra who? Hi, I'm Myra Shire, and I'm running to be the next judge of the Cambridge Municipal Court. No matter how you pronounce my last name, most people know me as Myra, a dedicated public servant. Myra, the assistant law director. Myra, a community volunteer with my husband, Jeff. If elected judge, I promise that I will serve Guernsey County with honesty and integrity. I respectfully ask for your vote on November 7th. Vote Myra in November for Municipal Court Judge. Paid for by Myra Shire for Judge. Just like on the field, we believe in teamwork with our customers. This is Ashley Rich from the Farmers and Merchants Bank on the Square in Caldwell. With our services, you can bank from your home, the office, or even at the stadium. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing your money is in great hands. Good luck to all the local teams this year from everyone at the Farmers and Merchants Bank. Member FDIC. Hey there, mental health champions, ready to tackle life's challenges head on. Just like your favorite football team opponents, you've got the strength to take on your mental health challenges. Don't sideline your well-being. Reach out to the pros at Southeastern Ohio Counseling Center. We have the winning playbook to help you score against stress, anxiety, and depression. Southeastern Ohio Counseling Center, where every small step is a touchdown for your mental wellness. Most of us are faced with uncertainty every day. Your job, your finances, sporting events, schooling for your children, and so much more. With so much uncertainty surrounding you, there's one auto dealership that you can be certain about, and that's Doan Ford. You can be certain that you'll always get a great deal and the best service afterwards. In business for nearly 60 years has given Doan Ford the reputation of being a strong, reliable dealership. Be certain. Choose Doan Ford online at DoanFord.com. Hey, football fans, laborers, local 530 in Zanesville, Ohio, is cheering on all the local high school teams this year. Serving Muskingum, Perry, Noble, and Guernsey counties, Local 530 represents around 400 skilled men and women in the building and construction trades. They work with over 100 signatory contractors, providing committed and experienced laborers for building, heavy highway, and pipeline construction. 
For more information, give them a call at 740-453-1214. Good luck to all the teams from Laborers Local 530. Your home and your car are likely your two biggest investments. Protecting them from unexpected damage is a prime concern to WB Green Insurance. They are proud to represent Westfield Insurance, a financial service organization that provides insurance products for your home, auto, and business. Sharing knowledge, building trust is Westfield Insurance's pledge to their customers, along with personalized claim service that's fast and friendly. To learn how Westfield can help with your insurance needs, talk to WB Green Insurance today. Members of Guernsey Muskingum Electric Cooperative love Southeast Ohio, where the hills roll, the roads are crooked, and the trees are plentiful. Keeping the lights on in our beautiful corner of the state is a challenge. A challenge Guernsey Muskingum gladly accepts and works hard to accomplish. Safety and reliable electricity at a reasonable cost are always our top priorities. It's our way of keeping the lights on for all members of Guernsey Muskingum Electric Cooperative, a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Hi, this is Gabby from People's Bank. I'm here to tell you about People's Bank's new CD special. It is so good, you need to stop by any People's Bank location today and ask your banker to tell you more. Or visit pebo.com. This special will not last long. You must open your account by September 7th. People's Bank. Working together, building success. Member FDIC. Now located at 16050 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company is a mutual insurance company established in 1896 for the purpose of providing insurance coverage to rural Ohio. They offer a product to meet your insurance need, whether it is for a farm, rental dwelling, home in town, secondary or seasonal dwelling, churches, or mobile home. They partner with Grinnell Mutual Insurance Company to offer liability coverage to package with their Patrons Buckeye Mutual Policy. Call today at 638 638- Three six zero four, and follow them on Facebook at Patrons Buckeye. When a loved one dies, the remaining family members are oftentimes overcome with sadness, grief, confusion, and stress. If you are burdened with planning a funeral, let the experience and compassion of the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home staff ease the difficult situation at hand. Ken and Robin Perkins will guide you through the process of making arrangements. Phone McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home of downtown Caldwell at 732-4223 or their web address is mcveigh-perkins.com. Myra Shearer. Myra Shearer. Myra who? Hi, I'm Myra Shire, and I'm running to be the next judge of the Cambridge Municipal Court. No matter how you pronounce my last name, most people know me as Myra, a dedicated public servant. Myra, the assistant law director. Myra, a community volunteer with my husband, Jeff. If elected judge, I promise that I will serve Guernsey County with honesty and integrity. I respectfully ask for your vote on November 7th. Vote Myra in November for Municipal Court Judge. Paid for by Myra Shire for Judge. And welcome back. Uh, we are at halftime here. Caldwell Redskins leading the Buckeye Trail Warriors 33 to 14. And it is time for the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home Halftime Report. Tell you what, quite a first half, Rich. Uh, Kale Bender putting on a show. And uh, one problem that Buckeye Trail has is they really haven't found an answer for that senior quarterback. He's been everywhere. He's had an answer every time Buckeye Trail has thrown a new wrinkle at him. Really has. Has had a great first half, Bill, in the air in particular, even though he can do a little bit of everything. Cale Bender, 12 for 18 for 244 yards, and just has done a great job of spreading the ball around. Has a lot of weapons. Dalen Wheeler, Wheeler, four catches, 76 yards. Herlin had a great big second quarter. Three catches for 50 yards. Two touchdowns. Two touchdowns, yeah, I was gonna get to that. And Croc, five catches for 77 yards. And then Hunter Park sneaks behind the defense for one catch for a 41 yard touchdown. So he, Cole Bender and company have done a great job offensively putting up 33 points here in the first half against Buckeye Trail. Yeah, four touchdown passes for Cale Bender and uh, something I might want to add is that the only time that they ran the ball for a touchdown, Cale Bender two yard runs. Sure, yeah. <laughs> he, has, he has just basically done it all. And uh, like I said, the one problem that Buckeye Trail has had tonight is they just haven't had an answer. They haven't found a way to put pressure on him. 
Caldwell's offense able to move up and down the field. Now the Warriors, they did score twice. Uh, they had three or four sustained drives. Looked pretty good a couple times. Uh, Kate Cohen Egan, 28-yard run, the first touchdown. Man, he, he he's a good looking back. I'll tell you that right now. And Travis Dodd, 19 yards uh, for another touchdown. Buckeye Trail able to cut into that lead. They made it 27-14. The killer had to be that last drive of the first half. Wheeler with that little flare pass that he took up the field for about 30 yards. There was a 10 yard penalty. Two more plays and Bender had him in the end zone again as Hurland made the catch. That hurts. Yeah, you, if you're Buckeye Trail, you can't help Caldwell. You can't have those penalties and, and you know have the turnovers and give him the football. Buckeye Trail has attempted to tack Caldwell on the ground. They've only put the ball in the air twice. Oh, uh, actually once, 0 oh for 1 for Buckeye Trail. Braden Williams attempted a pass that was knocked down. Buckeye Trail is, again, as I said, trying to attack him on the, on the ground. Travis Dodd, four carries, 65 yards. Charlie Perry, eight carries, 29 yards. You alluded to Cohen Egan, six carries, 83 yards. Weibel, three carries, 13 yards. Todd, one carry for three. Williams, one carry for minus six. And Sammy Brown, one carry for three yards. So Buckeye Trail is been on the ground all night. They're moving the ball up and down the field sporadically. They had, in fact, one drive that stalled down inside the Redskins' five-yard line, and that was the point where you really felt like Buckeye Trail was going to stay in this football game because they moved the ball very efficiently. Seemed like they'd had their first stop of the Redskins' offense, and that was the only stop they got in the, uh, the first half, I think. Yeah, it was, and you know, if you're, if you're Buckeye Trail, you're thinking you're in great shape, but then we just witnessed right before the half, which you've been saying all night long, how quickly Caldwell can score. And they just demonstrated with 41, 41 seconds, they went down put and put seven points on the board. Well, the interesting thing was they had the ball in, in good shape. I think it was right around their own 45 yard line. They, they threw a little flare um, outside to uh, Dylan Wheeler and Wheeler was able to run to the sidelines. He cut the ball and I mean, he ran 40 yards up the sideline. And then, I'm not sure exactly what the penalty, they had the ball down on the 20, then there was a, a, some kind of a penalty that put them down on the 10, and all of a sudden, Cale Bender's got the ball with 20-some seconds left, and uh, he's looking down. I think the first play failed, and the second play went right to Herlin, and it was kind of an alley-oop, and Herlin stands at six foot four inches tall and just reached over the Buckeye Trail defensive back, hauled it in, touchdown Redskins, that quick. Yeah, and that's what... That's what Coach Kearns uh, told me early in the week, that Herlin had such great size that he felt that they couldn't defend him one-on-one -on -one because of his size, because he could go up and go above up, go up and get it, and that's exactly what he did on that touchdown pass there late. Well, no doubt about it, uh, at the half, you've got to figure that uh, Coach Donnie Kearns is over there, and he's talking about defense. How do we stop this guy? How do we put pressure on Cale Bender? You know, whereas at half on the Caldwell sidelines, they're basically saying, how do we keep our momentum going? Because they move the ball all over the field. A lot of different uh, people involved in the offense. And uh, that is exactly what Coach Rucker envisioned uh, when he was putting this football team together this summer. Right. And if you're Coach Kearns, I think you're right. I think he's talking about the defensive side of the ball. But he's also talking about this first possession of the third quarter. He knows that they really have to have a chance to come back in this game. They have to go down and score on this first possession here in the third quarter coming out of halftime. And they will get the football because they did defer their choice uh, to the second half. Hey, uh, watching now, the uh, we, we saw the Buckeye Trail Band came out. Uh, the Caldwell Band is now out on the field. These kids, uh, a lot of hard work. They, they put a lot of time into this, and uh, both bands doing a nice job. Yeah, they say one of the most grueling things in, in high school is band camp, Bill, quite honestly. So you, the, all of these athletes, student athletes, band members have have really dedicated themselves to whatever they participate in. So hats off to both Buckeye Trail and Caldwell. Band camp was something I never went through, so I, I couldn't tell you. I, I I'm, I'm I, basing that on rumor, I, Bill. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea. So all right, the score at half, it is the Caldwell Redskins 33, the Buckeye Trail Warriors 14. We're going to take a break as uh, we head towards the second half kickoff. Uh, back with more from the fairgrounds right after this. 
Just like on the field, we believe in teamwork with our customers. This is Ashley Rich from the Farmers and Merchants Bank on the Square in Colwell. With our services, you can bank from your home, the office, or even at the stadium. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing your money is in great hands. Good luck to all the local teams this year from everyone at the Farmers and Merchants Bank. Member FDIC. Everyone's looking for an encouraging sign in today's economy. The fact is, you'll find one right here in Caldwell at State Farm Sue Snowd's office. Because State Farm agents like Sue have been here helping people protect the things that matter most. That's why more people trust State Farm, and they consider that a very good sign. See State Farm agent Sue Snowd at 400 East Street, Caldwell. Sue Snowd State Farm is a proud supporter of high school sports. Most of us are faced with uncertainty every day. Your job, your finances, sporting events, schooling for your children, and so much more. With so much uncertainty surrounding you, there's one auto dealership that you can be certain about, and that's Doan Ford. You can be certain that you'll always get a great deal and the best service afterwards. In business for nearly 60 years has given Doan Ford the reputation of being a strong, reliable dealership. Be certain. Choose Doan Ford online at DoanFord.com. Are you paying too much for homeowner's insurance? Has your insurance company raised your deductible? Hi, this is John Valentine with Valentine Insurance. Many people can't accurately answer these questions. With many premiums escrowed into mortgages, homeowners don't pay attention to changes to their policies anymore. It's time you visit Valentine Insurance for a true, no-obligation review of your insurance policy. Call 994-1776 or stop by our office at 739 Southgate Parkway in Cambridge. Celebrating a decade of deliciousness, Patty's Place has been serving homestyle cooked meals since 2013. Indulge in their homemade pies daily and enjoy breakfast served all day long. They're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays. Don't forget to check out their Facebook page for daily specials. Conveniently located between Bell Valley and Caldwell on State Route 821. Come on over and satisfy your cravings at Patty's Place. Are you looking to spruce things up in your home? At Boyd Precision Painting, they specialize in painting and refinishing kitchen cabinetry, bath vanities, trim doors, household furniture, and more. With years of experience and knowledge of the improvements in technology, they use the highest quality coatings to assure chemical and physical resistance and longevity. Give your home an updated look at an affordable price and call today for your free consultation, 740-581-BOYD. That's 740-581-2693. Serving Southeast Ohio and surrounding areas. Go Redskins! I was sitting in my car and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. Then on the radio I heard of West 40 by pay here. Where for a little money down and a little each week. I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door and I put the money down. Now I got a nice car that I can drive around. West 40 by pay here will help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge, don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of the guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. And we are back at the Noble County Fairgrounds, Caldwell, Ohio, where tonight the Caldwell Redskins taking on the Buckeye Trail Warriors. The Redskins have a 33-14 lead at the half and uh, due in large part to the play of their senior quarterback, number 28, Cale Bender. The Buckeye Trail Warriors, well, they don't really have an answer for Cale Bender so far to this point. So... We're talking about it just a few minutes ago. You know, Donnie, Donnie Kearns, what, what do you think he did at halftime? Spent most of his time? Talking about a way to get the Kale Bender and disrupting their offense because he knows that they can't keep this pace and have a chance. They've got to get stops, get the Caldwell offense off the field, get the Buckeye Trail offense on the field, and then get production, score points, and the 
you know, Buckeye Trail really wanted to be methodical tonight and kind of try to shrink the game. We're beyond that point, Bill. Buckeye Trail is going to have to score some points. Well, and I think they're going to have to throw the football, and that is really not the Warriors' personality. Something else that we want to know right now, they're, uh, they're taking time to honor the young man in the middle of the field right there, number 28, Cale Bender. He is uh, now the all-time leader, career leader in passing for the Caldwell Redskins. You know, here's a kid who was, as a freshman, kind of, an a, kind of a backup afterthought, wearing number 28, and he, he never took number 28 off. Uh, just has continued to wear that number and uh, came in that one game. They said, hey, we need you. Our starting quarterback, can't, and he was very, very consistent, came in, did a good job, and has just continued to grow from that point on. It's been my pleasure to watch him for the last three or four years. I've done a number of Caldwell games, and uh, fine player, really, really. And I, They say, you know, flatline, you know what you're going to get with Cale Bender. Well, and that's what Coach Rucker, I, I watched an interview uh, from him this afternoon, quite frankly, and he talked a lot about that Cale Bender is one of the first true quarterbacks he's ever coached in terms of both physically and mentally how he approaches the game and uh, coach rucker said he just enjoyed to watch him play he's enjoyed to watch him practice and obviously you've witnessed for the last three years and and well, tonight's we, performance speaks exactly what you've talked about and what coach rucker's talked about you know and i've done other teams and other games and things like that and i've seen some fine quarterbacking uh in the in the years that i've done this but uh he is one of the, the he's got to be one of the top five easily that I've seen you know I'd have to say probably the best I saw was Jeff Snedeker I think the Buckeye Trail quarter great Buckeye Trail quarterback I wasn't calling games at that time but I was lucky to be able to go see a lot of those football games my brother-in-law was the coach at the time and he was something special Kim yeah. Bender something special yeah you're right just a couple seconds on Jeff Snedeker yeah I had, I had the privilege to coach him in basketball and He's the kind of guy that you want him on your team, and if he wasn't on your team, you didn't like him very much because that's just how he played the game. But yeah, he played all games like yeah, that. Yeah, just so. a great athlete and just kind of refused to lose, and that's kind of what Cole Bender, kind of how he approaches the, uh, Cale Bender approaches the game that way, yeah. and he just goes out and he's just Mr. Consistency. And both of them leaders, uh, that, and they led in different ways. Exactly you know, right. Jeff Snedeker, very a very emotional leader. Uh, you know, a guy that could really fire you up. Cale Bender, a guy that is just, all right, fellas, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do what we usually do, and we're going to do it right. And uh, I, I'll tell you what, right now when uh, he's in that Caldwell huddle, everybody's nodding their head yes. Now they okay. trust him. Sure they do. Sure they trust him. You know, they've been around him for three years. They know he's the real deal. He comes to play every night, and uh, they trust him. If you're Buckeye Trail, you know, he's got guys coming back with experience, and he, it's going to test him here in the second half. But I know Coach Kearns has faith in his team, and, and uh, he's going to put him out there and do everything in his power to give him a chance to come back in this thing. And players just have to make plays, Bill. That's Co the bottom yeah. line. Coach Kearns basically said he probably felt better about this team than he has about any other he's had at Buckeye Trail. Of course, when you come out and you're facing a quarterback that is this experienced, it's tough to deal with. Yeah, it really is, but I'm sure they've they've talked about ways to get back in it. But it's all going to start with this first possession, Bill. They really got to go down, in my opinion, and, and come away with points here. No doubt about that. So uh, we are getting ready now for the second half kickoff, the Southeast Ohio Counseling kickoff. Chaz Pfeffer will put his foot into the ball. Back uh, deep to receive. Let me. I believe that is Mason Todd and... Uh, Cohen Egan, if I am not mistaken, yes, that is who it is. Mason Todd, Cohen Egan. Well, let's see what kind of adjustments now the Warriors have made. Let's see if the Redskins can continue with that consistency on offense. So Cohen Egan right in the middle of the field. Todd over on the left side of the field. They're trying to punch it towards him. Todd comes up, he's got the football. Egan out ahead of him, nice block by Egan. Todd to the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50. He's into Redskins territory. Great return, we are set to go. Second half underway. 
Buckeye Trail with the football in Redskins territory. They really needed that return by Todd there to get them started. If you're Buckeye Trail, that might just be the spark you need. Well, they're all the way down to the Redskins 46, and I'll tell you what, Chaz Pfeffer did exactly what he was coached to do. Got the ball away from Cohen Egan, but Todd with a nice return that time. All right, Williams the quarterback this time. The snap, the give, Perry's got it up the middle of the field and he's gonna take it down to right around the 39 yard line. Nice run by Charlie Williams. Pick up of right around seven, it'll bring up a second and three. Eleven twenty-nine left here now in the second, the third quarter. Excuse me, and Warriors now in the gun tee again. Williams back the snap, the give straight ahead. Perry's got it. He's got some room. The thirty, the twenty-five, down to the twenty-four yard line. That's a Caldwell Lumber first down. Charlie Perry showing his heels to the Buckeye Trail, to the excuse me, the Caldwell Redskins. Good start here in the second half for the Warriors. Yeah, big run by Perry there, which is what Buckeye Trail needs. They need to be aggressive offensively, and even though they're not throwing it, they're running it, they're picking up big yards. And as you pointed out, the ball is not in the hands of the Caldwell offense, which is pretty big right now. Williams up under center, the snap, the give. That is, uh, oh, nice, nice, oh, they, he gets away. That's number five. That is Jason Alloway, and Alloway escapes. He, he maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. He's got to pick up around three yards on the play. They had him behind the line. He fought for some yardage. Yeah, I thought they had him. He did a great job of escaping there just to pick up about three yards, like you said. 10-19 left now here in the third quarter. Warriors continue to drive. They really need some points here. They're all the way down to the Caldwell 20-yard line. Williams the quarterback, shotgun formation, the snap, the give. Straight ahead, that is Perry. Perry turning, spinning. He's got around six or seven more yards. So, wow. Warriors come out with some purpose here in this third quarter. Yeah, Char Charlie Perry there, Bill. Three carries, 28 yards, so they are moving the football on the ground. You know, I'll tell you something, too. When you're just getting used to a new quarterback, sometimes it may take you a little bit of time to get used to the cadence. I mean, you had an outstanding quarterback last year. You're getting it's, This is a new thing now. Williams back in a quarterback again. Yeah, it takes a while to adjust to that new voice, Bill. Well, you know, a new way of doing things entirely. Here's the snap, straight ahead Williams. He's got a little bit of room. He may have the first down. He's down inside the 12, I think. I think he's got enough, let's see. And that's a Caldwell Lumber first down for the Warriors. 9.15 left here in the third. Only problem with the ball on the ground, eats that clock. Yeah, it sure does. So, Number two, Braden Williams is a quarterback here as we open this third quarter of play. Redskins have a 33-14 lead. Williams, the quarterback, in the gun tee. The snap, out to Cohen Egan. Egan can't make his man miss, and he's only gonna pick up probably around two yards on the play. One thing that Coach Rucker probably had circled was watch number 34. They're all over him. Oh, he, no, got, no he got the football. They were looking for him. <laughs> all right, Warriors come up again. Gun T formation again. Perry to the right side of Braden Williams. The snap, the give to Perry. Perry cuts it back up, off tackle again, fighting for yards, not much there. Inside, looks like uh, number 64 in there, that is uh, Guyler Preston, I believe, with the tackle. Bill, the thing is with Buckeye Trail, with Williams under center, 
at least they have the potential to throw the ball because that's one of his strengths. So they are running it, but there is that threat of the potential pass. Yeah, but when you get down into the red zone, it gets a little bit tougher. Williams back up under center again. Wing tee formation, the snap. And Egan's got the football. Straight down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Buckeye Trail. That is a huge score right there for the Warriors as they take the ball right down the field with that second half kickoff and 33 to 20. Don't look now, Buckeye Trail is not going away. And that's exactly what Coach Kearns wanted to do on that first possession coming out of halftime was go down and, and, and get a score. It took a little bit of time, but they did go down and score. So great for Buckeye Trail. Well, more important than that, Let's see here what the happens on the two-point conversion. But uh, now they've got the problem. They need a stop. Oh. Bad snap and um, two-point conversion fails. So 7.24 left here in the third quarter. The score, Caldwell 33, Buckeye Trail 20. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Chandler Funeral Home and Cremation Service not only offers the most modern and spacious funeral home in the area, it also offers the largest outdoor monument selection display. If you are considering a lasting headstone for a loved one, take a drive by Chandler Funeral Home to view their wide variety of sizes and colors. For personalized assistance in selecting your monument, contact Chandler Funeral Home at 732-1311 or on the web at chandlerfuneralhome.net. Choose comfort. Choose Chandler Funeral Home. Are you looking to spruce things up in your home? At Boyd Precision Painting, they specialize in painting and refinishing kitchen cabinetry, bath vanities, trim doors, household furniture, and more. With years of experience and knowledge of the improvements in technology, they use the highest quality coatings to assure chemical and physical resistance and longevity. Give your home an updated look at an affordable price and call today for your free consultation, 740-581-BOYD. That's 740-581-2693. Serving Southeast Ohio and surrounding areas. Go Redskins! Welcome back. We're at the fairgrounds in Caldwell. Howard J. Duvall Memorial Field. Buckeye Trail getting ready to kick off. It is our Southeast Ohio Counseling kickoff. Warriors cutting into that Redskin lead. Buckeye Trail down 33 to 20 to Caldwell. They need a stop here pretty bad. Perry with the kick. Low line drive kick. And that's going to be picked up. Oh, booted away. That is number one, Dylan Wheeler, now picking the ball up right around the five-yard line. Warriors are all over him. They're going to bring him down right around the five. Taylor made for what Buckeye Trail needs. They need a stop. They've got Caldwell deep in their own territory. Yeah, they really did. That, that was a great break for Buckeye Trail. Wheeler bent down to pick up the ball and actually kicked it back inside the 10. He had it right around the 15. Looks like we have an injured Warrior down. Yeah, not sure what happened. That was away from the football. Didn't see it. Let's see. Oh, there, he's getting right up. That's okay. good to see as well. Yeah, that is uh, number 20, Brady Hastings, but he is running off the field, so I think he's okay. He probably had the wind knocked out of him. That's what it looks like it could be, but that's just a good, good Good sign that he's okay. Yeah, That's the usually, most important usually thing. I think they only have, he'll probably sit out a play or two. Well, if you're, if you're Buckeye Trail, that's a big break. You know, to pin them back deep in that territory, that's what that's what Buckeye Trail needs to do. Now they have, like you said, they have to get a stop. Yeah, well, they have to find a way, and you talked about this, they have to find a way to put pressure on Kale Bender without letting him escape that pocket because he is a magician when it comes to that kind of thing. Bender in the shotgun formation, 7.15 left now here in the third, 33 to 20. Redskins have a 13 point lead. Bender, the snap, straight ahead. That's Croc, and Croc does not have a lot of room. He maybe picks up three yards on the play. So we'll call it second down and eight now. Warriors all over that run by Ethan Kroc. Boy, let's see if the, they put the hand, they put the ball in the hands of their senior quarterback and let him throw a little bit. Single receiver out to the right, single receiver out 
to the left. Two men in the backfield lined up on either side of Kale Bender. Shotgun formation. The snap. Bender's going to give the ball. Straight ahead. Wheeler's got the ball. He breaks a tackle. Breaks another one. He's off to the races. The 30, the 35. All the way up to the 45-yard line. Dylan Wheeler with a great run for the Redskins. That was a case of some missed tackles, I think, there, Rich. Yeah, no question about it. That is a Caldwell Lumber first down, and the Warriors, though, cannot put their heads down. They still have to continue to try to find a way to get to Kale Bender. Now the career leader for the Caldwell Redskins in passing. Shotgun formation. Bender with the football. Back, looking, rolling left. Looking, he's in they're in pursuit. He's got a man out there. That's Herland. Herland at the 40-yard line. They're going to run him out of bounds right around the 38. Nice job by Alex Herland to come back to that football. Caldwell Lumber first down for Herland. Redskins with the football now. Kale Bender in the shotgun formation. One more time, 5.42 left here in the third quarter. Long count. Bender's got the ball, low snap. One of his backs has the football, let's see. That is uh, number 21, that is Jared Van Fossen. Van Fossen. Nice gain there on first down. He's going to pick up right around seven yards, second and three off tackle. Bone, if you've noticed, Caldwell's not snapping the ball to under 10 seconds. They're just letting his clock run, maintaining possession. Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun formation again. Boy, large group of Warrior fans down in the end zone here. You see that? Might be the band. Bender with the ball back, looking, throwing the ball up. He's got Hurland out there. Hurland can't make the ball, can't find the ball, can't make the catch. He had a step. The ball was just a little bit overthrown, just a little long. Good job by the uh, Warrior defensive back. I'm not sure who that was back there. They got in his way just enough that Hurland couldn't track that ball down. Plus, he was looking in and then turned out. That's hard to do. Right. All right. Third down, right around one to go. Shotgun formation. The snap, low snap. Bender picks it up. Oh, the Warriors are on him. I'm not sure if he got it. That's close. Let's see. I do think Caldwell's in four down territory, Rich. I think they go for it if they didn't get it. Let's see where they mark it. He is short. He is short by a half yard. I think they're gonna measure. It's really close. I still think he's short. At least from what I see on the sidelines. Let's see, Let bring the sticks out here. Do I have those eagle eyes? You may have. I may not. It's just close <laughs> enough they're going to take a we'll look. We'll see. I think, he, yeah, it looks like he's short. Uh, he's short by uh, maybe a yard. Yeah. Now, decision for Coach Rucker. Yeah. Got a 13-point lead. I think he's going to, with, with the players that he has, and the way they've played tonight, I think he will go for it. No question. My Tell you, mind. a stop by the Warriors could be a big momentum swing, though. We got Bender's going to go right up under quarterback. The snap, they're going to give it straight ahead. He's got, they've got him. Oh, I think he, I think second effort got it. Nice job. Nice job. I think that was Herlin, wasn't it, on the carry? It was Herlin, I believe. 
Wow. Uh, straight ahead now. Bender with the quarterback sneak attempt, and he's going to lose the yard. Boy, back and forth, but still. Buckeye Trail has not found a way to stop this Caldwell offense. Right, and, you know, the way Caldwell's approaching it, they're snapping it under 10 every every play. Run it, and they're running, just runs. And they're running the ball more. Yes. Clock keeps running. Shotgun formation. Twins in the backfield with Bender. Snap to give. That's number three. That is, I believe that is D Ethan Crock with the football. Let's see. No, that's Wheeler, number one. And he's going to pick up probably about a yard on the play. That's going to bring up third down, nine to go. All right. Shotgun formation again here for the Redskins as they come out on third down and nine to go. 3-11 left here in this third quarter. Kale Bender, the quarterback. Van Fossen to his left side this time. The snap. Bender's back. He's looking, looking. Guns the ball down the middle field. That's behind. Crock, he can't make the catch. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth and nine. I would say this time they may punt the football. Let's see. One advantage Caldwell has, their punter, number 28, Cale mm -hmm. Bender. Yep. <laughs> you know, he can do anything back there. He can kick it or he can throw it or he can run it. He can run, you know, they can run a fake with him probably pretty effectively just how he plays. Looks like there's a timeout coming for Caldwell. Yeah, they want to talk this over. Uh, they are in a position where they could go for it on fourth down, nine yards to go. You don't want a chance giving Buckeye Trail the ball. Any stop right now by Buckeye Trail gives them momentum. Yep, it gives them momentum, gives them hope. And But you're right, they have to get a stop here. Only 229 remaining in the third quarter, so Buckeye Trail really has to get the football. Well, with Caldwell Lumber first down, nine yards away, there is a decision to make. You've got to really think about this. 13-point lead. Now, I realize Buckeye Trail, when they got the ball last time, right down the field. Let's see what kind of adjustments the Caldwell defense has made if they have to punt it away. Exactly right. It'll be interesting to see what decisions are made here by both teams. Hey, Warriors just will not go away. No, nope, they're gonna they're gonna play, you know, they're gonna play the entire game. They're gonna play hard. They're gonna work to get better. That's what Coach uh, Kern's been preaching all preseason. Well, both these teams are like their coaches. Tough, hard nosed, smart disciplined shotgun formation they're going to go for this here we go snap the fake Bender's back he's looking 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 down the field he's got a man that is number two that is Ethan Croft that's a catch and a first down Caldwell lumber first down for the Redskins Redskins down to the 12-yard line. That, my friend, is a big play right there. It really is. That sets them up to, you know, potentially score. But even along with that, we got a player down. On the side of the field here, I think that it's number one. I think that's Dylan Wheeler. So and he's had a, a gimpy ankle here since the second quarter. So let's see, they may have to take him out and tape him again. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Rich, this hasn't been dull tonight. No, not at all. Warriors got down and they've had problems with Kale Bender, but uh, they're looking for that stop or a turnover. All right, back come the Redskins. 28, Kale Bender in shotgun formation. Bender is basically working here on first down. 
back throwing in, had some pressure that time. Getting in there for Caldwell, uh, that was uh, number 20, that is Brady Hastings, a number we've called a number of times tonight. He has been in the backfield and uh, at least putting some pressure on Bender. Redskins come up again. Shotgun formation. 13 point lead for Caldwell, 33 to 20. Knocking on the door again, they're inside the Buckeye Trail 15. Bender the quarterback, the snap. The give straight ahead. That is Croc, and he runs into a blue wall. Nothing doing. Maybe, maybe a yard. Let's see. Good job getting up off the bottom of that pile. Number 79, Jackson Hess for the Warriors. But Bill, the clock continues to run under two minutes here in the third quarter and that's a point you made uh you keep you know the redskins have changed their uh philosophy a little bit they're, they're keeping the ball on the ground trying to run that clock kale bender now in the shotgun formation again wheeler the back beside him he's no bender keeps it straight ahead bender down down to the one is he in touchdown kale bender with about a 12-yard run. He's done it all tonight. Sure has. So that's going to make it 39 to 20. And Pfeffer will try for the extra point. All right, Pfeffer back to try for the extra point. The snap down it's up and it is good so 138 left here in the third quarter the score Caldwell 40 Buckeye Trail 20 flag on the play all right that's gonna call okay well, Brett Klein pointing out to me that there was a flag on the play the extra point was good, but the penalty is going to cost the Redskins five. We'll give Pfeffer a chance to uh, see if he's got any range here. What do you think? Yeah, he'll hit it again, I think. He showed a good leg. All right, 138 left here. Extra try for the extra point again. The snap, it's down, it's up, it is no good. This time off to the left, so Pfeffer does miss. So the penalty costs them. 138 left in the school in the third quarter. The score. It is Caldwell 39, Buckeye Trail 20. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Everyone's looking for an encouraging sign in today's economy. The fact is, you'll find one right here in Caldwell at State Farm Sue Snow's office. Because State Farm agents like Sue have been here helping people protect the things that matter most. That's why more people trust State Farm, and they consider that a very good sign. See State Farm agent Sue Snow at 400 East Street, Caldwell. Sue Snow State Farm is a proud supporter of high school sports. Unveil a new perspective with Forshi Air Picks. Their FAA certified drone pilot captures breathtaking shots that elevate your moments. From dreamy weddings to stunning landscapes, real estate wonders to towering constructions or home inspection pictures, they've got it covered. Let them soar to new heights for you because they get the pictures you can't reach. Call 581-0919 and see your world from above with Forshi Air Picks. Welcome back to Howard J. DeVoe Memorial Field at the fairgrounds in Caldwell, Ohio. Redskins have a 39 to 20 lead. 138 left in the third quarter. Again, Cale Bender leads his team down the field. 
Warriors have not had an answer for Mr. Bender tonight. No, they haven't, and that drive took a long time for Caldwell. It took a lot of time off the clock. Here's the kick, Koenigian with the football. He's got the return straight up the field, looking for some room. He makes one man miss, makes another man miss. Now he's gonna cut it back. The 30, the 25, 20, 15, 10, five touchdown Buckeye trail. Koenigian, long touchdown run. Great way to respond if you're Buckeye Trail. Warriors will not quit. 39 to 26. I tell you what, Cohen Egan had two last year. He's got one. He may get more this year. I'm going to call that 95 yards. I think he picked it up on around the five, maybe the 10. 90 yards. Yeah, Impressive a run. All right, Buckeye Trail going for two, and that's uh, going to bring in the throwing quarterback, Braden Williams. Williams headed up to the line of scrimmage. This time, Warriors come up in their wing tee. Snap. Straight ahead with the football. Oh, not making it in. That was uh, number 10, Tyler Harrell. Harrell could not get into the end zone. So extra point fails, 124 left here in the third quarter. It is Caldwell 39, Buckeye Trail 26. We'll take a break, back with more right after this. What is a cooperative? A cooperative like Guernsey Muskingum Electric is your local rural electric provider. The owners are not investors on Wall Street. They are actual members using the electricity. Decisions are made by local directors who know, listen, and care about their neighbors. A cooperative is not driven by profit or stock prices. Instead, they are driven by providing safe, reliable electricity at a reasonable price. That's the cooperative difference. Guernsey Muskingum Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. We are back at the fairgrounds in Noble County. Buckeye Koenigan, huge 90-yard kickoff return. 39 to 26, the Warriors trail the Caldwell Redskins, but uh, Buckeye Trail will not go away here. They still have to find an answer. They still have to find a way to stop the Caldwell offense. You're right. Uh, this stage in the game, they can't keep trading points. They've got to get a stop and get the offense back on the field. All right, Charlie Perry with the kickoff, back deep to receive. Uh, I believe that's Alex Herlin and uh, number one, that is Dylan Wheeler for the Redskins. Perry, low line drive kick. It's going to roll out of bounds. That will give Caldwell some good field position on their own 35-yard line. But you're right, Buckeye Trail, they have to get a stop this possession, get the football back. They've been close a couple of times. Um, had a third down and a fourth down and nine. Couldn't come up with a stop. And again, that's Cale Bender back in the backfield, looking around, finding an open man down the field. And if Buckeye Trail doesn't come back tonight, it'll just be simply when they look at the film and talk it over, it's just gonna be simply the, they just couldn't get stops. Yeah, well, you know, and we've talked about this, when you, you have a, a senior quarterback, like, you know, he's, his experience is showing up tonight. Here's a quarterback who's, who's been there, who's seen it, and has done it before. Bender with the football, flips the ball out. That's Van Fossen with the ball. No gain on the play. Nice job there by the Warriors. Gonna bring up a second down and 10. One thing Caldwell has not been able to do very successfully is run between the tackles. We talked about that. Um, number 14, Gavin Leak, sophomore running back, uh, man expected to uh, step up and take the place of Marshall Sayre, an all-Ohio fullback. Uh, basically had a, an injury to his foot, not able to play tonight. But Kale Bender has supplied enough offense for the Redskins. Back in shotgun formation is Bender, the quarterback. The snap. Going to give it to Van Fossen. Man, they are all over him. No, excuse me. That is uh, number two with the football. That is Ethan Croc. Croc loses about four or five yards on the play, so that'll bring up a third down and probably right around 15 to go. Clock winding down here. May not get another play off here in this third quarter. Up 
All right, three, two, one. That's gonna do at the end of the third quarter of play. The score, Caldwell 39, Buckeye Trail 26. We'll take a break. Back with the fourth quarter right after this. I was sitting in my car and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. And on the radio I heard of West 40 by pay here. Where for a little money down and a little each week. I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door and I put the money down. Now I got a nice car that I can drive around. West 40 by pay here will help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge, don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of a guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. We're back, getting ready for the fourth quarter here at the fairgrounds in Caldwell. Redskins have a 39-26 lead on the Buckeye Trail Warriors. Looking right now at a third down, right around 15 to go. Caldwell needs a big play, and Buckeye Trail badly needs a stop right here. Shotgun formation, Bender's back. He's looking, 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 looking at Herlin. Now they cut that off. Now he's got some pressure running up the field. Warriors collapse on him, they've got him. He's gonna gain maybe a yard. That's gonna bring up a fourth down. I think this is a punting situation. Oh, no question. Good, good pursuit there by Buckeye Trail to take that away. One of the Warriors comes up limping. That is uh, number 52, Gavin Morse. Morse limps off to the sidelines. Looks like he turned an ankle. Seems like he's okay, but he's headed for the bench. They're gonna take a look at him. Bender back to punt. He's the punter as well. Keep that in mind. Cohen Egan, number 34, is the kick returner. He's already got a 90-yard kickoff return to his credit this game. He'd like to add a punt return right now. He sure would. Bender, nice high punt. Egan gives ground, he's gonna let it roll. It's gonna roll dead right around the 30 yard line. Buckeye Trail will have the ball there. First and 10, 11.03 left here in the fourth quarter. Warriors trying to cut it to a one score lead. Redskins got the war drums going. Yes, they do. Uh, Buckeye Trails got their war drums going too. All right, let's see who's the quarterback. It is number two, Braden Williams. I think in this situation, I, I think that Coach Kearns believes that since Williams is a little bit better thrower and they're in a situation where they may need to throw, probably see a little bit more of him to finish this game out. You're right. Williams, the snap, the double reverse, Cohen Egan. Ah, oh, they're laying for him now. Nice job. That is 64. Guyler Preston in there with the tackle. All right now. Second down, right around eight to go. Hey, this is tough for Buckeye Trail because they really have gotten most of their offense tonight on the ground. In fact, I don't think they have a yard passing yet. The snap, the give, straight ahead, Perry's got it. Perry finds a little opening, he's got enough. I think he may have that Caldwell Lumber first down. Let's see, they're gonna mark it right around the 41. That is a first down. So the Warriors get a fresh set of downs. 10-14 left here in the ball game. Williams comes back out to the huddle. I think Warriors probably get in that gun tee one more time. Yes, they do. Perry is off to the left side of Williams. The snap, the give. Perry's got it. Cuts it back up the middle of the field this time. The Redskins are waiting for him. Picks up three on the play. Under 10 minutes now left here in the ball game. Second down now, right around eight to go for the Redskins. Thank you. 
Hey, Williams has done a pretty good job. I, I really think that both Buckeye Trail quarterbacks have kind of settled into their roles. They really have. All right. Second down and eight now. Shotgun formation. Williams drops the football. Egan picks it up. He's in trouble. Back deep to bring him down. That is number one. That's Dylan Wheeler, and Wheeler drops him for about uh, probably uh, an eight-yard loss. Williams could not handle the snap. Cohen Egan came back and picked it up, but by that time, there were plenty of black shirts in the backfield. Yeah, that's a huge loss for Buckeye Trail there in terms of yardage. A uh, huge passing situation right now, too, and with 9.16 left in the ball game, I, they may have to go for it on every fourth down now. They need possessions. Williams in the uh, gun team, back, looking, 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 gunning it down the field. He's got a man out there. That's Egan. He's got the ball. What a catch down to the 33-yard line, Cohen Egan. Cale Bender was on him, but he couldn't keep him away from that football. That is a huge play for Buckeye Trail. It sure is. All right, Warriors come up quickly. 9.07, clock rolling here in the fourth quarter. Williams, the quarterback. First completion of the night for Buckeye Trail. The give inside, Perry's got it. Making one man miss. He's gonna pick up right around two yards on the play to the 30 yard line. The Warriors working quickly. Buckeye Trail back up to the line. Gun T formation. Williams takes a look to the sideline now. The snap, the give, straight ahead Perry. Perry, the 30, and he's brought down. Nice job there, that is uh, number 44. That is Owen Hunt for the Redskins. Hunt, a young player. Haven't got to call his number too many times. Coming up now on eight minutes left in the football game. Still 39-26. Caldwell with the lead. Buckeye Trail with the football. Williams the quarterback. He's in the gun T formation. Williams waiting on that snap. The snap. The give. Flag on the play. Straight ahead. That's Todd, and he's going to have the first down. I'll tell you what. Let's see what that flag's all about. That may be holding. Officials talking things over. Procedure, Buckeye Trail. So that'll cost them five. Yeah, that's, and they had a, you know, nice run there coming back. So that's going to wipe out that run, and that will cost them five. Still third down. Warriors still with the ball. They've got eight yards to go to pick up a first down. Williams, the quarterback. Gun T formation. Williams back, looking, looking. Guns the ball down the field. He's got a man down there fighting for that football. Let's see. No flag. Yeah, there's a flag. Yeah, number 20 down there for Buckeye Trail, Brady Hastings. I thought they got him just a little bit before the ball got there. Yeah, that's what they called it a little bit. A little bit late, took a good look at it. Dropped the flag. Big play for Buckeye Trail. At this point, you take a first down any way you can get it. Via the penalty is fine. Let's see. That is going to be on the Redskins. They're calling that against Buckeye Trail, Bill, I believe. No, they're calling it are, against Caldwell. Are they? Okay. Yeah. They walked the wrong direction. Okay, they've, they've corrected it. My, my mistake. That's going to place the ball right around the 15, first and 10 now for the Warriors. So Buckeye Trail starting to move that football. Williams, low snap, picks it up. Perry's got the ball inside, breaks up tackle. Down to the 10 yard line. Charlie Perry fighting for yardage. And we know, we know Perry can do that. That was one of the 
plan for tonight. Perry's stayed true to that. He's getting the tough yards for Buckeye Trail. Second down and five. Biggest problem right now for the Warriors. The clock is on the side of the Redskins. 13 point lead for Caldwell. And as long as that clock continues to roll and Buckeye Trail has to run the ball, it is advantage Caldwell. Hey, let's run through our sponsors. I uh, want to thank them for allowing us to be here tonight. Myra Shear, for Municipal Court Judge. Doan Ford, People's Bank, McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home, West 40 Auto Sales. Uh, let's see, Patty's Place, Chandler Funeral Home, Forshe Air Picks, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance, Labor's Local 530, WB Green Insurance, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Boyd Precision Painting, Sue Snowed State Farm, and Southeastern Ohio Counseling. Without these sponsors, we could not bring you this football game, and it has been a joy to be here tonight. Sure good has. It's been, it's been a good game. Buckeye Trail hasn't quit. They continue to battle. Second and five to go now. Warriors with the football. They're down in the red zone. Perry's got the ball, cuts it back up inside. Redskins stack that one up. Looks like uh, number 72, Wyatt Williams, and uh, I believe also number 60, Chase Norman in there. Boy, you get down in that red zone, yards come a little harder. Yeah, it's pretty compact down there, and you know they're trying to run Perry to get the tough yards, and no gain on that play. Clock continues to run, 6.43 remaining. All right, Williams remains in at quarterback. Third down now, right around four. Definitely Buckeye Trail in four down territory. Williams gives it to Perry. Perry back up inside. He's not going to have enough for the first down. Chase Norman again in there. He and Perry get, they've met up quite a few times tonight, I think. They sure have. Well, Buckeye Trail needs this fourth down to stay in the football game. 39-26. Just six minutes left here in the ball game. Redskins have had all the answers offensively tonight. They've been hard to stop. Braden Williams, the quarterback now, brings his team up. The snap. The give. Perry's got it. Redskins are all over him. That's going to give the ball to Caldwell. Tell you what, in there on the tackle, Ethan Croft. Looked like number uh, 64, Guyler Preston in there as well. Nice job by the Redskins. That's gonna turn the ball over. 542 left in the football game. Tell you what, that's gonna make it tough for Buckeye Trail. It really is, you know, the way Caldwell this fourth quarter has been handling the football. They've run it a lot. They've thrown it a little bit, but they run it a lot. They're not snapping the ball to about 10, 10 seconds or less on the play clock. So, yeah, they're going to shrink this possession and hold on to this football if they can. All right, Cale Bender, the quarterback. Van Fossen back there beside him at running back on the right side. Ah, Bender rolling out, and Buckeye Trail is all over him. They're going to drop him for a big loss. Back there, that is uh, number 56, Wyatt Connor for the Warriors. There's some good penetration that time by Buckeye Trail, but uh, really what uh, Caldwell's interested in doing is running that clock right now. As you said, Caldwell taking their time in that huddle. Shotgun formation. Kale Bender back to take another snap. Bender's got the snap, guns the ball to the outside. That's Croc, makes one man miss, cuts it back up inside, breaks a tackle. He's all the way up to the 21 yard line. I'll that's close to a first down, let's see. Caldwell Lumber first down. Nice job there by Ethan Croc. Yards after catch. Yak. Yep, 17 yard catch there to get the first down. You know, that's getting the ball out to your receivers, 
in open space. And staying patient until they broke open. Pretty safe pass. You've got uh, an experienced quarterback making that play, but every first down now is crucial. Gail Bender in the shotgun formation. The snap. Straight ahead, Bender. And they're going to knock him down. No gain on the play. Charlie Perry shooting the gap from his middle linebacker spot, bringing Kale Bender down. But again, as you said, the whole idea here, keep that clock running. Yep, they're taking your time in the huddle. They won't even think about snap, snapping the football to under 10 on the, on the clock. And Coming up on that point right now, shotgun formation again. We're at eight seconds left on that clock. Bender's got the ball, the give. Oh, back in the backfield. That's number one, Dylan Wheeler being dropped for about a five-yard loss. But uh, that's going to bring up a third and 15, but it's not a problem. 3.21 left now here in the football game. <laughs> Buckeye Trail taking a timeout. It was Caldwell, but surprising. Redskins taking a timeout here. That is Buckeye Trail. That makes more sense. Yeah, they're just going to try to preserve as much time as they can. Yeah, 321. You've, you've got to start using your timeouts to try to preserve as much time as you can. Buckeye Trail offense uh, tonight has uh, basically been on the ground. They're going to have to find a way to put some big plays together. That probably means let's get the ball in Cohen Egan's hands in open space. When I think the plan to run the football tonight was try to keep the Caldwell offense off the field and just, just pound the football and grind it out. But I, I think but the, it didn't, you know. I, I think the Warrior defense has done better as the night's gone on. They've gotten better at reading what's happening. But it, it's hard when you've got a quarterback that experienced. He knows what to do with the ball. Yeah, he can run, he can pass, and he has great players around him too. So sure, that, that really sure. helps him. And, and great instincts, just great instincts. Cale Bender in the shotgun once again. Here's the snap, Bender back and looking, looking, looking. Guns the ball way down the field. That's gonna be overthrown. And uh, almost picking the ball off down there. It's Sammy Brown, zero for the Warriors. And I think that's going to bring up a fourth down here. Let's see. So look for Caldwell to be punting this football away. Cohen Egan is back right around the Buckeye Trail 45 yard line a dangerous man a dangerous return man back for the Warriors so I'll tell you what if I'm Buckeye Trail I have my guys running back and putting the return on right away exactly snap there's the kick it's a low kick it's going to hit the ground and Egan wisely walks away from it you know, I'll tell you what, you you learned something. You see that ball bouncing around? Have you ever been back there to feel the punt? You get away from it. You yeah. don't know how that thing's going to bounce. Yeah, he can just walk toward the Caldwell sideline just to stay away from it. That's exactly what he did. So, first down for the Warriors. They'll have the ball in good shape, but just 3.02 left in the ball game. They're down by 13 points. They need scores, and they need them right now. They're going to have to throw the football. That's not something they really wanted to do tonight and haven't done it very much at all, but they're going to want to throw it. They have to throw it to give themselves a chance. Williams is coming out to be the quarterback. Of the two quarterbacks, he is the better thrower. Have seen the legs of Travis Dodd tonight. He's a, he's a good quarterback. A little bit stronger running the ball, though. Yeah, Buckeye Trail, they, they, they've got great options at quarterback, having two of them that can play. That's good for them, and that'll pay big dividends throughout the year. All right, here we go. Warriors with the football. Long count, the snap. Williams has it. He's back. He's rolling, rolling, rolling. Sets it up. Now he's going to drop a short pass off. That is Charlie Perry, number seven, with the football. He's going to pick up right around seven on the play. Two midfield, 250 left here in the fourth quarter. And Warriors better get back up to that line quickly. Don't have a lot of time right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't think down makes too much difference right now. It is really basically about clock. The snap. Williams back looking. He's going to get the ball out. He's got a man out there. Catching the football. That is number 20. That's Brady Hastings. Hastings has a Caldwell Lumber first down to the Redskin 35-yard line. Redskin defense basically in prevent mode right now. They really are. Williams now sets up again. Clock rolling. Two minutes left. He's got the snap. Back. Steps up. One man's got him. Now another man's got him. That's Chase Norman. Rams him down. Oh, that's going to be a flag on the play. Let's see. I think they're, they're going to get him for roughing. Oh, my. Chase Norman came in, and let's see. Was that a marker, or was that a flag? That's a marker, I think. I don't think there's any roughing there. I don't see a flag. No, there might be. Let's see. Okay, you know, there is a flag, but it's way out here on the 35 in the secondary. Not sure what's happened yet. Illegal procedure against Buckeye Trail was the signal. Hey, Williams comes over to the sideline to talk to Coach Kearns and uh, see if he can shake some of those cobwebs out because Chase Norman banged him into the ground. Buckeye Trail able to recover that fumble, but... Uh, it, uh, it brings up first down, oh, country mile to go. Second down, excuse me. Williams guns the ball down the field and oh, trying to fight in for the Hastings back, trying to look for that football. Good job there by Cale Bender to knock that away. He's been everywhere tonight. Oh, he sure has. Thirty yards to go for a first down. All right, Warriors come up third and thirty. Snap. Williams is back. He's looking, looking, looking. Got a man out there. Nice catch. That is uh, number eleven, Lane Wable. His first catch of the night. And Wable cuts that distance down for a first down to right around, looks like 12, yeah, let's make it uh, 15 yards. So good gain by Wable, but fourth down here on this possession. So Buckeye Trail needs a big play here to stay in the ball game. Just 136 to go. No first down here. I look for the Redskins to start taking knees. Yeah, I think so. Buckeye Trail might have one timeout left, so they really can't stop the clock very much if not, Caldwell not, gets possession. Yeah, not sure. Looks like they may have two. Let's see. Not sure. Oh, offsides. I think one of the Warriors jumped. No, they're going to say that was a timeout. Okay. All right. Timeout on the play. So Coach Kearns, burning. He's only got one more left now. Fourth down, right around 17 to go. I'll tell you what, Buckeye Trail. They haven't quit. No, no. It's been a good game. Even though they've been down some tonight, they've kept playing hard. They've had some success. They've they've really proven they can run the football. Sure. They just need to finish a little better. Well, Caldwell jumped out to that early lead, and I mean, that was just flat out good offense by the Redskins. Well coached, they spread the ball around, they were able to get some scores. Uh, the one score near halftime, uh, both you and I seemed to, th that, that probably was uh, one of the keys to this football game. Yeah, that was a big one. It was. It, uh, it made a difference in how the second half was played. Well, you gotta give Buckeye Trail a lot of credit. They came out and scored right away in the second half. Snap, Williams has the ball, he's back, he's looking, looking, steps up now, he's going to run for it, now he's going to gun the ball down the field, got him in way down there, no catch, and a lot of contact flag on the play, let's see what that's all about. Going to be pass interference on the Redskins, I think, 
Uh, I, think, I think he got bumped just a little bit early. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it wasn't. I, I'm not sure if he didn't push off. Let's see what the call is. I didn't get a real good look at it though. Official coming back up the field. Might be offsetting. Let's see. Okay, he was in front. Pass interference on Caldwell, which that was the call. You were correct. Unfortunately, Williams let go of the ball. He was in front of the line of scrimmage, so that's an illegal forward pass. Yeah, so offset. We play one. We play again. Fourth down, still right around. Looks like um, maybe 18 to go. Snap. Back, Williams looking, looking, looking. Now he rolls. Now he's got a man. He's given directing some traffic. Got to move. That was a decleater right there. Flag on the play. Let's see. That may be a hit to the head. Yeah, that's probably going to be unnecessary roughness because he hit him really hard. I don't want to speculate, but yeah. flags come out right away. Yeah, that was a decleater, no doubt about it. Took him right off his feet. I'd say it looks like um, that was um, number five, Jansen Alloway. Was that who it was? I think so, and they did call that. Oh, flag again. Oh, no, I, that's on Coach Rucker. He was unhappy with the call. So that's on Sportsmanlike right there. Let's see. See, officials trying to sort this out now. I know there's an unsportsmanlike call. Yeah, you saw that flag coming from the sideline. And I saw Coach uh, Rucker walking away from the official. Uh, you knew what that was all about. He didn't like the call. See, they're going to replay fourth down, but it's going to be fourth down right around five to go. Hey, Warriors' odds of picking this up keep getting better. It is helping them, yeah, but it's still a challenge. Timeout, and that is the that is the last timeout for Buckeye Trail. Yep, Coach Kearns knows this is their last chance, basically, and he's going to try to. Well, they're down by 13. They need two scores, yeah, so he, you know if they score here or something happens to where they're able to pick up a touchdown. Yeah, we're looking at an onside kick situation. Sure thing. Their sideline warning, I think, on Caldwell. Yeah, I don't know that there was a penalty. I think it was a sideline warning. Could have been. I, I'll tell you what, I know the Redskins were upset with the call, but I, I you know, I, just by the way it went down, you know, when you and I were in school, that was the kind of thing they wanted you to do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> A lot of it's changed. Get up, get up and hit him. Williams, the quarterback, now up under center. Fourth down, right around four to go. The give, straight ahead. First down, Egan. He's got more. He's tripping into the uh, down to the ten yard line of the Redskins. So that's going to be a Caldwell lumber first down. Warriors come up quickly, trying to get this game to within one touchdown. Buckeye trail will not go away. The snap and they ground the football. So that's going to make it second down. No timeouts left now for Buckeye trail. You cannot believe trail will not let this go. Nope, they're, they're going to have a good season. This is gonna, if they approach every game like they have tonight, just to play hard and not, never give up, they'll have a really nice year. Williams, the quarterback in shotgun formation. Gun T. Snap, Williams back, looking. Guns the ball to the, that's Hastings. Oh, let's see, no. Good job. 
down in there, I think that was uh, number one, I think it was Dylan Wheeler knocking that football away. Wheeler got good position on Hastings. Hastings tried to reach around and pull that football in, but nothing doing. Wheeler able to knock it away, and third down now. 10 for a first down, 11 for a touchdown. Braden Williams up under center again. Under a minute to go, 55 seconds left. Williams back, looking, looking, looking. Into the end zone and knocked down. Looking for Hastings again. So it's fourth down now. Again, the Warriors down to one play. Yep, they're still battling. Yeah. 44 seconds left on the clock. The final win from Union Local was the Jets over the Zeps tonight. Uh, Union Local 20, Shenandoah 8. All right, here we go. Fourth down play now for Buckeye Trail. The snap, Williams back, looking, throws the ball out. He's got a man out there, overthrows his man, Charlie Perry. That's going to do it. That's going to give the football to the Redskins with just 37 seconds left. That should be the football game right there. Great effort tonight by the Warriors, but it was not enough. The defense never found an answer for Cale Bender and company. Guessing now, Caldwell will take a knee. All right, knee taken. And clock rolling, and not a need to take another snap, Rich. Nope, it's gonna, this is gonna do it. Yeah, Warriors, uh, some of the Warriors coming back to the sidelines. I'll tell you what, they've got nothing. They fought to the very end of this football game tonight. Redskins showed they're gonna have a great offense this year. Yeah, they sure did. They, uh, they are really gonna have a great offense. Buckeye Trail would not quit, but it wasn't enough. Final score tonight, it is Caldwell 39, Buckeye Trail 26. We'll take a break and uh, we'll be back with a wrap up right after this. My ride smells just right, just right, just right, just right. Y'all gotta try that for Bree's right, car. Just right, just right, just right, just right. Yeah. La 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 la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With up to 40 days of consistency, all over Bree's car clips right on your vent. Yeah, you yeah. know my car is my happy. Keep that smile on my face When it smells just right, just right, just right yeah. Breathe happy for breeze, la 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 What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to know? Too hard Takes too long Not with Babbel Babbel's lessons take just 15 minutes a day 15 minutes isn't long Nope, and they're fun So you don't realize you're learning a language, but you are in three weeks, you're able to start having conversations. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's, it's perfect. perfect. Now try Babbel free. Just go to Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Everyone's looking for an encouraging sign in today's economy. The fact is, you'll find one right here in Caldwell at State Farm Sue Snow's office. Because State Farm agents like Sue have been here helping people protect the things that matter most. That's why more people trust State Farm, and they consider that a very good sign. See State Farm agent Sue Snowd at 400 East Street, Caldwell. Sue Snowd State Farm is a proud supporter of high school sports. Unveil a new perspective with Forshi Air Picks. Their FAA certified drone pilot captures breathtaking shots that elevate your moment. From dreamy weddings to stunning landscapes, real estate wonders to towering constructions or home inspection pictures, they've got it covered. 
Let them soar to new heights for you because they get the pictures you can't reach. Call 581-0919 and see your world from above with 4 Air Picks. What is a cooperative? A cooperative like Guernsey Muskingum Electric is your local rural electric provider. The owners are not investors on Wall Street. They are actual members using the electricity. Decisions are made by local directors who know, listen, and care about their neighbors. A cooperative is not driven by profit or stock prices. Instead, they are driven by providing safe, reliable electricity at a reasonable price. That's the cooperative difference. Guernsey Muskingum Electric, your touchstone energy cooperative. Hey, football fans, laborers, Local 530 in Zanesville, Ohio, is cheering on all the local high school teams this year. Serving Muskingum, Perry, Noble, and Guernsey counties, Local 530 represents around 400 skilled men and women in the building and construction trades. They work with over 100 signatory contractors, providing committed and experienced laborers for building, heavy highway, and pipeline construction. For more information, give them a call at 740-453-1214. Good luck to all the teams from Laborers Local 530. Hey there, listeners. It's time to step onto the field of mental wellness with Southeastern Ohio Counseling. Just like a football team needs a strong game plan, your mental health journey deserves expert guidance. Our all-star clinicians are ready to tackle your challenges. From anxiety to relationship issues, they've got a playbook to help you navigate life's tough plays. Don't wait on the sidelines. Reach out today to make a winning move for your mental health. Southeastern Ohio Counseling, where every step forward is a touchdown for your well-being. Do you really think that an insurance company who promises quotes in a few minutes has your best interest in mind? Do they really know you and what coverages you need? Hi, this is John Valentine with Valentine Insurance. We take time to learn about you and your insurance needs so you can feel comfortable that you're receiving the right coverages at the best possible prices. Find us on Facebook, stop by our office, or give us a call at 994-1776. Valentine Insurance, a partner you can depend on. Welcome back to the Caldwell Fairgrounds. Bill Castler, Dr. Richard Hall with you here. Caldwell Redskins come away with a 39-26 to win over the Buckeye Trail Warriors tonight. The opening game of the 2023 season wasn't easy, though, was it, Rich? Uh, Buckeye Trail fought all the way, but uh, got to give the Redskins a lot of credit. They, they took control of this football game early. They sure did, but, uh, you know, we know coming in, Cale Bender was going to do a great job and uh, control the football game, and he did that in every facet. He did. Now, hey, let's recap the scoring here. Uh, starting out uh, 940 in the first quarter, uh, it was a 17-yard uh, pass. Cale Bender to, uh, let's see, Redskin receiver was uh, Wheeler on that one. Dylan Wheeler hauling that one in 17 yards. Kick was good, 7-0 called. Well, uh, then it was uh, Bender on a two-yard run. Uh, Chaz Pfeffer added a kick there, 14-0 called. Well, 640 left in the first. Buckeye Trail got on the board, 28-yard run by Cohen Egan, 2.52 left in the first. The run for uh, extra point attempt failed, 14-6 Caldwell. Uh, then it was uh, Bender to Parks in the second quarter, uh, just 2.08 left in the second, and 44-yard uh, pass. So Cale Bender, uh, kick was good, 21-6 Caldwell. I believe with that pass, Cale Bender became the career leader in um, passing for the Redskins. Then uh, going on, just 49 seconds left uh, in the first half. It was Bender to Alex Hurley. 20 yard touchdown pass, kick failed, 27 to six. Buckeye Trail had an answer for that though, it was Travis Dodd, quarterback of the Warriors, leading his team down the field. 19 yards, he scored uh, from 19 yards out. 14 seconds left, making it 27-14. Then probably, uh, and we're going to actually uh, call this the drive of the game, it was a very quick drive. Uh, the drive of the game brought to you by Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company. Uh, just 14 seconds left in the first half. Cale Bender completing a pass uh, to Dylan Wheeler. He, he drove, uh, he probably right around midfield, took the ball to right around the 20, 10 yard penalty, took the Redskins to the 10. They had enough time to punch it in. It was uh, uh, Alex Hurland hauling in that 10 yard pass to make it 33 to 14 at the half. That was a huge score. Second half opened and uh, both teams played a lot better defense in the second half. It was uh, Cohen Egan with a 10 yard run to cut the uh, Redskin lead to 33 to 27, 24 left in the third. Uh, then it was Cale Bender 
uh, answering. 12 yard run of his own and uh, kick did fail, but it was 39 to 20. Caldwell then probably the game's most exciting play. Uh, actually, we're going to call it the play of the game. Brought to you by King Carpet and Swim Away Pool and Spa. It's a 90 yard kickoff return by Cohen Egan to cut that lead to 39 to 26. Then the teams battled back and forth up and down the field. Nobody could add any scores. Final score tonight, it was the Caldwell Redskins 39, Buckeye Trail Warriors 26. Warriors were game, they played tough all night long, but uh, you and I talked about it the whole game. It was the experience of the Caldwell Redskins offense and the fact that uh, basically the Warrior defense could not come up with stops against uh, senior quarterback, Cale Bender. He did a great job and uh, so did his offensive line and uh, they have a lot of talented receivers out there as well. Yeah, they really do. And, uh, you know, when you look, watch the game unfold, Buckeye Trail was one-dimensional night. Everything was on the ground. They did distribute the ball pretty well on the ground. They had several players step up and carry the football for them, but just really could not be balanced enough to beat an experienced and a very well-coached Caldwell Redskin team. Take a look at some of the stats now. Uh, first, I think you had some things added up for the Warriors. Well, we tried to, you know, these are always unofficial, but uh, Braden Williams was four for nine for 79 yards. That was all in the second half. They did not throw the football successfully at all in the first half. Only had two attempts and did not complete a pass there. But, uh, you know, Buckeye Trail had a pretty nice uh, a run game in terms of Travis Travis Dodd had uh, four carries, 65 yards. Charlie Perry had a nice night on the ground, 20 carries really for 87 it, yards. Really picked it up in the second sure half. Sure did. Yeah. Uh, Kale, uh, Cohen Egan, 10 carries for 102 yards, had some big runs. And, uh, you know, Buckeye Trail um, just had a had a uh, one-dimensional approach. We did have two catches there that I mentioned, four, four for nine, I guess, but I'll highlight our leaders for Buckeye Trail. Cohen Egan one catch 32 yards and then um, Hastings had one catch for 25 yards. On the opposite side for Caldwell, whole different story. Cale Bender, just like we thought, 11 for 25, 269 yards through the air. Lit it up. Lit it up just like we thought. Wheeler, huge night catching the football. Six receptions for 117 yards. Same thing with Mr. Croc tonight. Six catches, 94 yards. Kind Her of kind of tells the story. Herland didn't have a bad game either, did he? <laughs> no, no, he didn't. And uh, two catches, I think, but they were both for touchdowns. Yeah, two catches for touchdowns, and then let's not forget our 41-yard touchdown pass uh, to Hunter Parks. Hunter Parks. Yeah, snuck in behind the defense, and uh, number three he got his six. Didn't sure, he? Sure did. You know, Buckeye Trail. Uh, ended up being one dimensional and then they had a couple turnovers but let's not forget the 20 but um, Cohen Egan can't even speak tonight I guess I'm getting tired Cohen Egan 90 yards on the kickoff return for Buckeye Trail and you said he had two or three last year and he's off to a great start yeah, this year. Yeah I think he had two I think he had two touchdowns last year so a great job by Cohen Egan and you know congratulations uh, great great job by the um, by the Redskins tonight. Uh, like I said, they really generated some offense, particularly in that first half. Hey, we do have a little bit of business. Uh, the Guernsey Muskingum lineman of the game. Uh, first, uh, let's go with the um, let's go with the Caldwell Redskins. We're going to call number sixty, Chase Norman, as our lineman of the game. Had a great night tonight, did Chase Norman. So uh, he was involved. He was in the middle of a lot of plays tonight and uh, did an outstanding job. So congratulations for him for Caldwell. He is our Guernsey Muskingum lineman of the game. And for the Warriors, number 79, Jackson Hess, the junior. We're going to call him our uh, offensive defensive lineman of the game. He was also in the middle of a lot of plays, a lot of great plays tonight for Jackson Hess. So congratulations going out to those two young men. We have one more little bit of business uh, to attend to. Oh, incidentally, you're listening to this post-game report brought to you by Patty's Place. So we want to thank them for their sponsorship as well we do have one more little bit of business to attend to that is awarding our player of the game and it's it's kind of a no-brainer tonight rich what do you think player of the game it has to be one man who we just thought would control the football game and, and he did and he did yeah redskin quarterback kale bender kale bender with the outstanding job uh, he is our plus one pizza player of the night so uh, congratulations to him uh, he will be receiving a plus one pizza for his efforts tonight. I'm sure he'll share it with all his linemen because quarterbacks always do that kind of stuff, you know. 
good thing right there. So, hey, that, that's going to do it. Great night, great opening night, Rich. And enjoyed uh, enjoyed the coverage tonight. Enjoyed the opportunity to come down here to the fairgrounds. So, uh, congratulations to the Redskins on their first win. And you know that Buckeye Trail is going to battle back. They really are. They showed their toughness tonight. Kept competing, never gave up. So that's you know you can build on that, Bill. You when, can. When you quit, it's a little difficult. But they competed tonight. Uh, had a lot of bright spots. But uh, that's a tough opener to go on the road and play an experienced Colwell Redskins team. And Buckeye Joe just came up a little bit short. All right. want to thank our technical director, Brett Klein. want to thank our cameraman, Bryce Haynes and uh, Brock Valentine. Nice coverage tonight. want to thank my color man, Dr. Richard Hall, tonight for coming along. I'm Bill Kassler. Final score once again for this football game. It is Caldwell 39, Buckeye Trail 26. Have a great rest of your night. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports.